monster. Oh, 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 oh. Monster. Here. I don't right. know. What, I can't, it kept saying you were going live. I request you like three. Times. I'm learning. I'm learning. I was like, okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did you get my request? I saw it, and then I was, I yeah. <laughs> look, look, I'm winging it today. You cute today because my hair is herring. You know, I cut it a month ago, and it's already in a weird stage. I don't do the short. I don't do the short because it's more maintenance. Like when it starts to grow out, you either gotta keep it done short all the time, keep your makeup together, all that type yeah. of stuff. So. And that's what I do. But the hair is tearing, and I was going to cut it today some more, but I needed to get some guards. So we just gonna put the hat on today because you know this is life. Such is life, you know. What are you doing? I hear the I hear me talking in the background. No, because Jay just walked to have to make sure or something. I'm on my own today. Hi. Hi. We got some people in there. Hey KK. Hey Josiah, Arkansas. Arkansas Barbie, Barbie is back. Hi Harlow. Hi, Harlow. She's been joining us every time. <laughs> I did you get oh. my um I sent you some videos to your journey of a legend page. Um I saw some of them. I saw some of them. Harlan. She be hard. We gonna get we, we got some interesting we got some interesting things to talk about today. Yeah, yeah. Some of the stuff well, we have to talk off the camera. Uh, I already know Arkansas Barbie. I know we you you got lemon drops, so you're not um you're not sipping on anything. <laughs> she always says ice water or something like that. Right, and lemon. Yeah, what you sipping on today, Al? What are we? What are you I drinking? I was at the co-op market down the street, and they mm -hmm. have such a great wine selection. So I have to just give you this story. So I was in there getting the wine, and the sommelier guy was there, and I had already grabbed a wine, and it was one that he was sampling. Well, he was sampling maybe about ten wines. Um, mm -hmm. and so I ended up getting this one and it is Rioana. It's a Malbec Reserva and it's Argentinian <clears throat> and it's a red, it's full body. It pairs well with red meats, um, heavy flavors like barbecue, Mexican, um, steak. And it's really good. When I sampled it, I was like, Oh yeah. But it's a it's a bitter one, right? It's yeah. not and let me see. Yeah. Put it up in there. Okay. And the thing about this, so organic grapes, um, it's fair trade, so the money goes back into the community. And so with these wines, um, both from Italy and France and Argentina, um, because they are fair trade and they only sell to co-ops that's why they can keep the price so low so this bottle is like 10 and some change and mm -hmm. it, you would have think like a 30 dollar bottle and also when people purchase these wines because it's fair trade they've been able to build schools put water into these small farms and um you know in neighborhoods in these um smaller countries and they're uh -huh. currently building like a hospital so he was mm -hmm. like giving us the whole rundown um, mm -hmm. while trying to get me tipsy because I had must have sampled about six of the wines. Because he was like, you want to try anything else? I was like, well, why not? <laughs> Fill up my little cup. And, you know, he was giving more than just a little <laughs> sample. So yeah, so this is what I'm sipping on. Okay. And you could go to La Riawana Wines, this name, if you want to go order one. 
the rhyme with a cause, yeah. And I saw I, when you were talking, Arkansas Barbie said, as soon as Lemon Drop is born, it's shot, shots everywhere. And Jaylee, you didn't miss anything. We just came on. So I saw, she, yeah, what are you sipping on? I saw you said Josiah's in there. What's he sipping on? What's everybody sipping on? I and I'm nauseating on some cheese and some collard bread. It is Rosh Hashanah. Okay. So Shana Toba to all my Jewish folks out there. Happy New Year. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm partially Jewish, so I got okay. some collard bread. You know what I'm saying? So happy new year, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see on there um um what anybody's drinking on. What you had last week, Josiah said. So, so oh, y'all checking out. Y'all, y'all checking out what we got. Yeah, he so said you put me on. Yeah, that, it's delicious, isn't it? It's so good. What's KK drinking on? KK, what you sipping on? I know you got some something. UPMO. What's that mean? UPMO. Who put UPMO? Uh, Josiah. No, he said, put put me on. You oh, put, me, put on. me on. Oh, see? Yeah, because that's the one that I had last week. Now, how you know PMO? I don't know PMO. I, I, don't, I don't know. And J. Lou said nothing yet. Well. well J. Lou, we're going to need you to get it, up, get it together. <laughs> you do the time. You do the place. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I actually stayed with the first one that we had remember that that's what josiah's drinking on i went to that same brand and this is riscato sweet red gold okay and yeah the the notes are cherry but it, it says it's really good paired with um like italian dishes chocolate chip cannolis and also you can do it with cheese bread or you can just enjoy it by itself. And I love it when you can enjoy yeah. it by, by itself. So I'm going to open this. But I like a sweet bread anyway. Yeah. Just so like your lips. Sweet bread today. I see you. Oh, <laughs> I see you. I said, and your uh, tail, girl, you already took out your braid? Oh, yeah. It was, it was, it was long over here. Now you look like Jair. Like <laughs> with Jair, everyone, her ponies. I see her all up in your face right now. Just oh, my goodness. Face. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> It, it just changed the time. So let's pour up everybody so we can we can raise our glasses and toast and, and jump into some good conversation. Now I ain't gonna Ooh. pour this whole bottle because it is so strong. But I'ma just pour what's the percentage? You know what? I didn't even say mine is 10 percent. Because they say the full bodies I think have a higher percentage. Let's see, where is it at? Oh, only the 14. Pour which is the poor always the looks, other ones. Look at you. The poor always looks so lovely. <sighs> Jesus. That's the whole bottle, everyone. I'm sipping. <laughs> so let's raise our glasses because I'm ready to taste this. Yeah. I mean, we need anything. I got some pineapples I'm going to keep grabbing on the side. Oh, you yeah. guys ready? Cheers. We're going to raise our glasses and toast this amazing, amazing conversation we're about to have. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm. That's got some kick. This, yeah. No, it's got like a. Ooh, that's some kick to it. Like it's um, like it has something stronger in it. Yeah, this too. I swear, it like they dropped some some brandy <laughs> or something in it. I don't know what's up in this. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. It's something. I know you said you sent me some hot. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said you sent me some interesting videos. So what do we, what do we, uh, how are we going to kick off today? Did you want to talk about those really quickly, kind of touch on those and then go ahead and jump into your oh. spicier salsa bowl? The video I, I sent was a par Harlow, weren't they? Right. But there was another video you sent me. I think it was of Cardi B and she was dancing oh. and she had her finger up. And I was, I was like, is it the outfit? Is it the oh. it was way like, of it was so surgery? It was the it surgery. Was like the surgery just is not, it wasn't looking good. I, it, it just started I try looking. I to get surgery, but I'm just like, when is enough enough? Like, when you, like, that is, to me, body dysmorphia. I think it becomes, and I've read about it at different times, it becomes an addiction. But yeah. here's the deal. Um, 
And that goes back to just, you know, people shoving, the world shoving the definition of beauty down your throat. And so I, I think, this is my theory. This is not something I read. This is my theory. I think that the, um, the social media, like the apps, the, the, um, the different, I'm having a brain freeze here. No, the one with the filters, right. The photo sheet. So, the photo right. So they, start, yeah. so they start you on the filters and you get all the likes. And you're like, and you get real comfortable. Like and it's that. like, oh, well, you can get your, you can get your cheeks up and this is pulled back and this is up and your eyes are all like, I mean, you, you, and, and everyone's like, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. And then you're like, you know what? I think I'm going to just do it permanently. I'm going to get the, you know, these rays, whatever the color. That is so digital. They, You're never going to look like what the hell is. But I think that sometimes just all the, you know, just the attention and people really saying how great you look, it starts there and then it, it, it's easier to kind of walk over there. And I'm not against plastic surgery because dental work is considered plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can put a brush job on layaway. Yeah. Um, Josiah said something about they also make it. I can't read the accessible. thing. Accessible. They also make it accessible so that many people are like, "Why not?" Yeah, you could go in yeah. and get it. And it's funny. Be it's not funny, but like I was watching an interview a few months ago with Nicki Minaj. She was talking to Joe Budden, and she talked about her surgery. And she said, like, just being in the studio with Wayne and them, and him having all these women with the surgery and stuff done so she was like well where y'all go like i need to get i need to get this done too because she felt even with her even with her bandmates or her you know her label seeing what women they had around made her feel away and made her go get the surgery because it was like this seems to be what they like this is what's popping you know yeah I think it's a majority thing too. If you're not solid in your mindset and you know, like I'm comfortable with the way I look and there's somebody that'll like it, like we said, you know, last week, I think that it's like, let me, let me get in line and, and join up with everybody else because this is what the depiction of beauty is. This is what people like. I just saw Barbie said, we forget that we aren't supposed to look like teenagers. We're supposed to age. Exactly. People will see you now and say, Something looks different about her. It's like she's getting older. <laughs> she, she, like she's I not young anymore. But I, I like race my age. Like I've never been like, oh my gosh, I'm getting old. And maybe because I look young for my age, and I uh, contribute that to the amount of water I drink, and to my grandma who's seventy nine and look like she's fifty, oh, wow. even with the stress on top of her, she still look like a daddy. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So I think too, it's all which how you take care of yourself. It's like though when you start doing that stuff too early, I think that that um, speeds up your aging process, and you have to keep on, keep on, keep on digging and cutting yourself to keep trying to look young, and you're you're only making yourself look older. Hell, you can go on the goddamn thirty day fruit diet, fruit and water, and look twenty five years younger. J. Lou said. The maintenance and bounce back is not the same the older you get. And that's the truth. And that's what you're saying. And I think that, again, they sell it. They sell that this is beauty. And also the maintenance, what he just said about that maintenance, you don't just get the surgery and that's it. You have to go and get special massages for that yeah. stuff. And, and the, you know, you still got to work out. You didn't want to work out in the beginning. You paid all that money. You could have just paid for a chef, a trainer. <laughs> and got your stuff together, but because you're paying for the surgery and then you're paying for the lymphatic massages, the drainages, the in and Ooh. out, the body wraps that you got to wrap around, all the extra stuff that comes with it. When you could have done it, you just wanted the microwave version of beauty, of quote unquote beauty, instead of just putting in the work. 30 days worth of consistency makes a difference, you know, but we, we need things so rapidly that we just do whatever. And then what bothers me is when people get the surgeries and stuff and be like, well, I didn't get surgery. 
yeah, yeah, did get surgery. Stop, just stop <laughs> lying. Like, why lie? Like, be real. You got surgery. You got surgery. Well, so what? No I one think, cares. I think the immediate gratification, um, like that microwave, like, it's surgery prime. It like, next day. Because some of y'all got light side teeth popping off, okay? Uh, was it? Uh, they still got to work out. See, Josiah said that. Uh, Artisan Barbie said, Yes, your skin loses elasticity as you get older. I put an egg with lemon and sea salt on my face all the time. It's an instant facelift. Y'all trust me. Well, I'm, I'm going to try that. I, Thanks I, for that. I put sea moss on my face. <laughs> well, salt, that makes sense. Uh, sea salt, well, salt tightens stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to try that. But I've always looked at like people like Felicia Rashad, Debbie Allen, Cicely Tyson. Like they I look good. Like I met Cicely up front and up front. Like Monique. And yeah, Monique looks good. Yeah, beautiful. Just beautiful. Like wow, they're really just a few years before she died. She looked good. She in her nineties, right? Yeah, she. What did she die like six months ago or something like that? Oh, I don't know. Start me going. Good skin popping, lots of energy. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Just no. I want to. I want to. I want to look good, not stressed, but but age well. I think it's a beautiful thing when it's like, dang, you're, you know, you you seventy. You 80 years old? Yeah. Oh, she said she thinks she was 97. Beautiful, though. You look yeah. great. And um, that's another topic, which, you know, we kind of touched on this before. Aging gracefully, not stressfully. Stress. I've seen 20-year-olds that look like they 50. Yeah. For real. All in their face and everything. I'm like, what you doing? Hard liquor and smoking six six packs of cigarettes a day? Why you, why you look like that? They look. I've seen babies. They look hard and they're newborns. Like they about to pour up some malt liquor. Like were you drinking in the womb? You look old. They look old and Cause serious. Because like, the one that was probably stressed, probably putting all that energy on the baby. Yeah. The baby, but the, I've seen a few babies look like I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm tired. <laughs> With their little angry faces. Yeah. Like I gotta go to work tomorrow. Child, it's like, you, 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 you're like, you, you reincarnated? You, no, you're three days old. Why do you look like that? Rough. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a hard knocks life. Yeah, no, that, that, um, so, but that was, that's what I thought you were referencing when you, when you uh, gave I that. I wasn't sure if I was, I know we had it on our list, but it was just like, it just popped up and I was just like, but why? Just like, <laughs> but why? She said, "It's the pills the kids be taking." Yeah, it is the drugs, the the alcohol, alcohol and drug. It makes your skin look rougher. Um, and and some people, you know, it's just something. It's just a part of you know their their heritage or whatever. But yeah, I, I have to say, I would contribute. The stress, the stress has a huge, it plays a huge factor in people looking really, really old. You sure and tired. Not. And old and tired. Yeah. So what you, what are you, you going into your spicy well today, or your mild, you can start us off. Okay. I just wanted to touch on that. If there was some, a small topic or it was something that you wanted, like a, a quick tidbit, I wanted to make sure I we weren't just glossing over that. Okay, let's see, what am I going to dive into? You doing a spice of your mouth today? Um, uh, maybe I'll do a mild, or a, oh. maybe I'll do a spicy. Spicy, spicy. Or do I want to do a mild? Well, why don't you ask the people in the live what do they want to do? What you guys? We sip in live sometime. They sit to live. <laughs> oh, we sit to live. So <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys want to start off with a spicy or a mild i feel like all our topics turn into spicy 
Let's see. Would, it, would you guys spicy or mild? What do you want to want to start off with? Well, I'm a cricket. Let's cricket. See. Crickets. I'm a. Is it delay? Anybody say anything? You gonna do spicy? You say spicy? okay. Josiah says spicy. Let's see. Okay. Josiah says spicy. Okay. So my spicy says. Oh, so okay. My spicy is soft girl season. Have you heard of that? No. It's so. I don't know when it started, but I just started seeing it pop up like on social media. Um, and basically, I guess soft girl season is like doing. Oh, hey, Wanda! <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. Wanda, the me, Wanda. But um, <laughs> soft girl season, I guess, is like focusing on me type. It's season thing, a social media trend. And while that stuff is good, I think people just be doing it for the gram. But like, mm -hmm. can we, my thing is, can we normalize, quote unquote, soft girl season? Can we normalize the me times and taking care of ourselves and practicing mindfulness? Why does it have to be this social media thing? Yes, if you want to share what you're doing, you could share it on social media. But w why the trend though? Like. That it shouldn't be right now. Oh, it's soft girl season. It should be soft girl season every day for you in your life. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm a little, I'm a little out the loop. Soft girl season. So if it's soft girl season now, are we going hard all the other times saying, of the year? But that's what I'm what? saying. Like, why I, is it just for a season? Like, shouldn't it softly be? No, know that they always call it a season and not a lifestyle. Thank you. And that's what I'm saying. Like, why is it always just like, like how they say hot girl summer? Bitch, I want to be hot girl all year round and for the rest of my life. But I get the, but I get the, now I just think they're making stuff up. I get the hot girl because it's like it's summertime. Yeah. I might be scantily glad. It's the end of the summer. It's soft girl season. I'm just gonna be focused no, on me. I need I need you to define it for me. What is soft girl? What does that mean? It literally <laughs> just means focusing on me. I'm in the season of me. So why is it called soft girl season? That might be self care know. season. I don't I'm gonna get a little bit too. <laughs> it's the soft practice. girl. So I have soft girl season. Guy. Soft girl season is you. Focusing on yourself for a season. Yeah. I guess so. But it's all about focusing on me. And the thing that throws me off is like, okay, well, you should be focusing on you all the time. Why are you making it about a season? You know what I'm saying? Like, can we normalize taking care of ourselves? Okay, again, it's the... I, 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 it's the, bothering me. You the, know how the name is it's bothering. The word soft. Where did soft girl? It's the word. It's the name soft. Let's just if we could look up what the definition of soft is. If, if you say self care, bougie season. Arkansas Barbie said the soft girls the new bougie. Some of us have been soft girls. What is? I don't understand it. Are we hard? Before are we hard? Are we like? Why is the why the word soft? It's it's not. <laughs> it's not making sense to me. It's a, it's a bit annoying. Soft girl season. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why my ring light went off all of a sudden. Oh, there it is. Coming to yeah, the light. I don't know the origination or why someone picked the name soft girl season, but such as social media. So I can't tell you who originated it. I saw on the social media, I saw a few pages, came up with what I thought it was, then went to Google, and it was pretty much focusing on you in a nutshell. Well why the soft, why the girl? <laughs> why but, the but but that's what but, but that's what it means when you look at it, it says soft girl season is focusing on you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why is this thing keep cutting off? Yeah, um, that's out. interesting. But I just want us to normalize, you know, let's start normalizing taking care of ourselves 
every day and not making it about a trend or about a season. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it's like what Josiah it's, said, a lifestyle. lifestyle. It's like, don't do it or don't make your Instagram videos and you're not even practicing that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Arkansas Barbie said, soft girl means being feminine, relaxed, taking care of yourself. Now, here's the problem. Aren't we, aren't we supposed to, so are the other times of the year, the other seasons, we're masculine, we're uptight, and we're not taking care of ourselves? What are we doing? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes these, sometimes these trends or these, you know, whether it's a trend or a season or whatever it is that's, you know, going on, and it's like they're putting a huge emphasis on it. You got to really kind of sit and think about it. Like It's like, is it almost like how many people will feed into this as somebody else's like, like amusement? Because it's funny to me. If somebody said to me, <laughs> yeah, we have to live in hard girl season. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm, yeah, this whole time I didn't know I was in the hard season and someone has come up on and said, hey, girls, we need to have a soft season. That's crazy. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah, no, I think that they just come up with stuff. Yeah. And they come to see who will follow it. And somebody is somewhere laughing uncontrollably, like crying. And how many people are hashtagging it, uh, you know, filming it, <laughs> putting it up on Instagram, whatever. It's, it, I mean, they're tickled by it. And it's for their amusement because that doesn't even make any sense of me. It's just, I yeah. mean, it, it doesn't even make, that line kicks in quick. It doesn't even make any sense to me. You know? That's crazy. Right. Um, but I will segue this into it because it's a perfect segue about these seasons and trends. So I came across a TikTok trend that said sleepy chicken, right? And I saw it when I was in the what nail shop. Sleepy chicken trend. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so I was in the nail shop, and they had the um, the news was on, and I saw it. It was like TikTok sleepy chicken trend is dangerous. And what it what it was is there was a guy the sleepy the sleepy the sleepy chicken trend is cooking chicken in Nyquil. So oh, he was pouring, that, but I didn't um someone was just telling me about that. He was pouring the NyQuil over the chicken and circling, mind you, no seasoning. Not that that matters, but I was like, so he put all the NyQuil and he was like throwing it over. And they were saying that people were um <laughs> right. People were going to the hospital because of the sleepy chicken trend and because the fumes when you heat NyQuil up. The fumes and stuff will make you sick. Like it already has you go to sleep. They're cooking it, but that those fumes and stuff, you'll pass out. You you know, it can mess you up. And I thought, wow, sleepy. And then they went into like the 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 tide pod, the pod challenge at one point, the pass out one. And they were just talking about all the trends that are have happened on TikTok or just you know trending period you see on Instagram where people are doing that kind of stuff and you know viral right how about go death like you you're gonna die it's crazy why would why would you first of all you're not even seasoning chicken so why are you putting NyQuil on it now but wait Bera the FDA or the uh, the FDA is it they don't even um regulate cosmetics and certain things but they made sure to put a statement out about this yes <laughs> but because you have little kids trying to you know be a part of tiktok they want to go viral so they they can't even cook they barely can cook so they grabbing up pieces of raw chicken and pouring knife over it and hashtagging it you know like watch me eat it's probably not even cooked, so it's raw sleepy chicken. So they're going to get salmonella and, and they're going to sleep permanently, which is crazy. That's nuts. I was just I'm, I'm like, who thinks of this stuff? The sleepy chicken trend. I'm like, yeah. you can see that. But you know what? I'm not, this is no disrespect to the generation right now. I'm, I'm just thinking, there's no way you could have passed this off on. My my generation. I know we probably had some stupid shit going on, but there's no freaking way you could have told us go 
heavily douse the chicken in NyQuil and eat it? How about eat a, a Tide Pod that you use to wash your clothes? Like, it's, it's just like, are you guys getting dumber by the minute? And not you guys, but I'm just saying, the fact that they're passing this off, I'm telling you, somebody's somewhere laughing. They're laughing at like, I'm going to put this out and just, and just see how many idiots do this. Oh, wow. Everybody's doing it. And they're, they're like rolling on the floor laughing because who, where do these come from? If somebody starts it and then it's everywhere. It's like, wh why would you, why would you eat chicken that was heavily doused in NyQuil? Why would you do that? It's population why? control. Man, that might be it. You might be, you might be on something else. Why would you eat a Tide Pod? Why I would you this girl eat a? She had a an egg. I don't know what she said it was. She boiled the egg or put it in the microwave for a certain amount of time, and then she cracked it and it was still juicy. But she pulled the chick out of it, and she oh, she got well. How she was that real? How did she know a chicken was going to be in head. there? And then she bit his head. She bit his head. Juanetta said, do you know that's against the law to sell whipped cream crime to a minor? Whipped cream. She said whipped cream or is it whipped crime? It said whipped crime to a minor. What's whipped crime? It must be whipped cream. She probably means whipped cream. Well, they if they, they're selling more than whipped cream, they get they get nightful and everything. And that must be somewhere else because they getting everything here. They sell them whatever they want to have. They want to clean their inside <laughs> tight pods. <laughs> They're going to need more than that. But it's soft girl season, so you can have all the sleepy chicken you want. And we all, the, all a, the quack quacks. <laughs> we should do a whole live on that. All the retarded trends. And my thing is, you can't, if you find out it's stupid and somebody's going to the hospital, why is it still trending? That's what I'm saying. Somebody's like, you guys are like not smart. You saw people are going to the hospital and you still did it. Yeah, instant laxatives. It's crazy. Nuts. I'm going to go into my spicy bowl too today because I'm feeling a little spicy. And we, I know, because it, it, some of these we roll pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So we can bounce back and forth. But I'm going to go into my spicy bowl. Ooh, I put some new stuff in here too from last week. So it'll be interesting to see what's in here. And um, hopefully I get a good, a good, um, a good topic. Minors get high and it's a federal law. I did not know that. Juanetta. <laughs> this is in the wrong bowl. I had the wrong bowl. <laughs> well, yeah, this is spicy. Can people get a little touchy about this? Are you what you're asking for? Okay. And yeah, the math ain't math for some of us. I have seen people have a whole list of what somebody needs to have. Like, they got to have a car, they got to have their own place, they got to be educated, they have to have this amount of money coming in, and, you know, they need to buy me flowers, or he or she needs to do, she needs to cook, she needs to clean, you know, either way, not just, you know, one way. And it's like, are you that, though? Exactly. What you got going on? You know, and that, um, I have a really hard time with that, especially when I hear it and somebody is like adamant about what they not going to stand for, what they, what I'm not going to do, what what's not going to be in my life. I, I'm not accepting that. And we'll look at people like, you could never. And it's like, but you could never though. You could ever. never set you up with anybody that I know because you're not that person. Yeah. You're really not. Yeah. You know, and so. I, I feel like it is your due diligence. If it's anyone in your immediate circle, I don't want to say with an earshot, but the world will be a better place if we could just really say stuff unfiltered to people when we hear crazy stuff. Yeah. Like, no. And, but if you know somebody that has a list and they're checking it twice, like it's for Santa Claus, and they are not that person, and you care about them in some capacity, I would say you have to love them. It's just to be a little bit of care. Mm -hmm. You gotta put coattails to that because that's that's cold. Like you, you should not, and it's ridiculous. You should not be asking for something that you're not. 
that you don't have a car, but they need to have a car. It's not like you trying to upgrade on a on a peanut butter and jelly budget. Mm -hmm. You need to be leveling up. You shouldn't even be looking at anybody or trying to set your sights on coming into a relationship until you got your stuff together. It shouldn't even be about now. Stuff that happens to come your way, that's great. If something, yeah. if an opportunity comes and that person is, you know, doing well and has some things you don't. I'm not saying that you you could not entertain them or date. I'm just saying if you have a list or you 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 have your set requirements that you let everybody know about when you at the club, when you talking to your friends, when you on the date naps, you check everything. This it's like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The <laughs> no, it's 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 up to like, the upgrade on the peanut It is. Uh, you got peanut butter and jelly, but you're looking for somebody with the filet mignon, the sea bass, the tomahawk steak. And it's like, do you even have the shoes and outfit to accompany that type of exactly. five course meal? Like, really, like, dig deep within. Uh, it's unfair and it's unrealistic that you are not handling your business. And you are you are what you're asking for, and and even if you can't do some of those things, you know, <laughs> she said they believe they're together when they're asking how. That and that's why I'm saying do your due diligence. If it is someone that you like, I didn't say love that you care about, pull a coattail. Uh, on a, you can it can be a, 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 a soft girl season. Say it softly. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yo, you you want somebody to you know buy you flowers and, and get your feet and stuff done? Can you pay for some of his haircuts? He said they trying to get the top and top ramen. Top right, they so top right. and disrupts your hormones, but you know, right? That's that's ridiculous. It's like, can you can or can you afford to shoulder a couple of dinners because you're you're asking that he or she pays for everything? Mm hmm. One you know of the what I'm saying? relationship on the fashion local budget. There and is I say there. too, it's social fashion media. Nova still too, fashion Nova still too high. It's a pay less budget. And pay less when it's gone. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's crazy. I think it dials back again to social media. People seeing what's being portrayed on social media, what's being portrayed in the media. And they think, oh, well, this person's very average. How did they get that person? Every situation is different. And social media is 85 percent, 95% fake. All that stuff is staged and set up to give an aesthetic. And people don't, don't want to realize that. And so they have these long lists, but they are... This is the list. Is this high? And they're down here. You can't see my hand. They have mm -hmm. nothing. And it's different when you're working towards something. But a lot of people who have these lists aren't even working towards anything. They just want the meal ticket. They just That's want wild. the style. They just That's want wild. the eye candy. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's not that easy, boo-boo. And if but you, you know what? Get something, it ain't going to last. But you said something that made a whole lot of sense to me when you said the social media, they trying to put a whole filter on their life. <laughs> if they got a customer putting a filter on their face, they trying to put a whole filter on their life and be like, I'm ready. And it's like, you know, it doesn't work like that. You know, so. Yeah. You, uh, you Barbie, gotta, saw Barbie said people renting jets to take pictures. And exactly. So then the right. people thinking that he got a bag. So they like, okay, he on the list. You know what I'm saying? But here's my question. Why is he e even on the list or she on the list? Because she ha he has a bag or she can cook or she a baddie? Because are you a baddie? No, are you a baddie? Can you cook, man or woman? Can you I get to take a picture in? Right. I, exactly. I don't, I, I just feel like it. It should the energy you shouldn't have big energy when you see somebody else eating and living well and you like I want some I, I get, oh man I want to get over there you should like if I could just touch the M and A garment it's like that's crazy what you got going on uh huh uh Joe you should be, if if anything it's an admiration and it's like damn I'm a level up too you know yeah. what do you say 
Josiah said, L said it, it's the longevity they won't have, even if they do come across someone who has everything on their list and uh, on their list. And Juanetta said they can buy Taco Bell and want more blame pretty woman movie, a whore meeting the rich man or Anna Marie Cole story. <laughs> oh, Anna Nicole. Yeah. Anna Nicole Nicole. But here's the thing. Is it sustainable? It's not sustainable. So you're going to go on this short ride for women i'm gonna speak for, as a woman because i can't speak for a man i would say men it's probably mentally exhausting if you get the pretty woman because at some point it's like like on wolf on wall street if i don't i don't know if you saw that but wolf on wall street he left his wife and ended up with margot Robbie, who was yeah. like this hot girl but remember at the end he's like all you do is spend my money remember he was irritated with her so for men, I think it's like a whole, like, you're killing me. And I think for for women, you get more miles put on you. You know, you're trying to keep it together. And you probably are always paranoid. If all you come to the table with are looks, they got Build-A-Bear stuff going on now. If you got a big butt, they can go buy one too. They got You can put your breast in a layaway. So you don't have any intangibles. So you probably like shaking in your boots, mm -hmm. hoping that, they don't run into somebody else that they just are like, yeah, I don't want that model anymore. You know, I want this model. You're done. So why not really work, work on being what you're asking for so that you can feel a little bit better about yourself, mm -hmm. man or woman? Because I feel bad about, see, I have, a, I have a theory. Men are tricks too. They always say, you know, women out there tricking. It's a bunch of men that's out there that's tricks and side pieces and don't even know it. Mm -hmm. And women been called with the game for a long time. I knew a dude back in the day that used to drop his girl off to work, take the car back home, hang out with his friends all day, play the PlayStation, and be like, I'm winning, I'm going to go pick her up. And I told him, because we were friends, I said, you a trick. She's not the trick. You're the trick because if she gets tired of you, she's going to take her car, her money, and kick you out the apartment, and you're going to go have to find somebody else that wants to put up with your ass. So it, you got to look at it. If you go going and giving out pipe, and we all know what that is, and you're not getting no benefits, you low-level side piece, man, like all some other stuff. I almost said man trick. <laughs> but you got to look at that stuff. I say... Have, add some value to you, feel good about yourself, level up. So if they if they dip off, you know, if it works, fine, but you don't feel some type of way because I really believe, and I don't want to speak, I try not to speak on stuff that's too much in the limelight, but I'm going to say her name and we off of it. Lori Harvey is not a bad looking girl, but she's dealing with a lot of men. And it's different for us when we deal with a lot of men. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about physically. Even if you look at the physics of it, sexually, a man's, the shape of his penis, when it gets hard, it gets hard and it goes down. You can't tell how many miles he had on his penis based on the erection. Yeah. But you hear me talking about loose walls and all kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm just really being transparent with it. It's different for us. Yeah. It's different when you have multiple sex partners. And we're emotional people, too. You know what I mean? You start feeling some type of way. You're trying to fix it and you wondering why you're not good enough or, you know, it's, and it, I don't care what woman is on over there talking about, I got the bag. We are built emotionally. We're not built like men. It's not, that's why we, I believe, that's why we carry children. We are naturally nurturers. That is my belief. It's not fact. It's my opinion. And everybody got one just like buttholes. But I, I'm saying that you we not built like that we not built for tough it should be fucking soft girl season all the time you know what i'm saying that i mean to me soft is good soft yeah. doesn't mean that you're not about your business soft don't mean that you're not practicing self-care soft doesn't mean that you're not intelligent you know what i'm saying that you're not articulate are you saying i'm hard stupid and not handling my business all year and now i get a season to be soft smart and not aggressive like, it's retarded so I'm saying that if you out there and you looking for something before you start really delving into that and making your list, check your list first about what you got going on. 
Like, is your car going, you know, he said real soft girl shit. <laughs> you know, it's, it's crazy. You know, it's like, you know, I, I just feel like it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. She said, I don't want to talk. This is a good topic. Let the old lady talk. <laughs> you can give me in the comments. We, we, we here. We here. <laughs> but I just, I feel, I feel like, I just feel like it's, it's really crazy. And it, and it goes into a whole bunch of other stuff because they, these women that are running around acting like they're men, that was the same person I just mentioned. When she like was with Future, and then she was with this person, they were like, "Go off, Lori, do it, do it." And then it's like she can never do it. It just doesn't yeah. work. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. You know, it just doesn't happen that way. We're not built for that. And whether society pushes it and it makes it like you know, we do it what the men do. You know, equal. We equal. It's like it's not about being equal. It's who we are. Embrace it. That's the difference in us. It's beauty in who you are. It's beauty in your soft season. It's beauty in you nurturing. It's beauty in you being able to multitask and do a thousand freaking things at one time. You know what I'm saying? And and be able to handle it. I'm I cooking. I got the baby. I I made sure your stuff is together. That's not what men do. You know, in the famous words of one hit of men protect, provide, and pursue. And I've seen it, I believe it, and I love it. I don't want to do none of that. You know, so I just feel like um really, really think about are you what you asking for? Exactly. You know, and I'm not saying limited limiting it to materialistic things. Yeah. Well, I'm in an apartment, I can't ask for someone with a home because I'm in an apartment. It's no, not like that. You know, but if it's your, if, it, if you live in at your grandma's and you um, barely get along street and you don't know emotionally where you at and you looking for somebody to catch and save them, rescue you, you're wrong. You're wrong yeah. in two left shoes. You know, it's not cool. It's nothing good that's going to come from that. You need to figure out how you're going to elevate yourself. You need to figure out how you're going to put yourself or put yourself in a better position to be coming to the table with something, with whoever you're with. And if, if not, just for yourself. Yeah. Just better yourself, you know? Women are spaghetti and men are waffles. Oh, please explain that, Josiah. What? Men hit are spaghetti. Talk. Please type that out. I need to know. Because if men are spaghetti no women are no, men are, are waffles okay and even the dynamics of like physically what that looks like the holes in the waffle hey, what the hell the josiah are we loose what's what <laughs> do we have a, we, what kind of sauce do we have is it the red sauce like yeah <laughs> we ain't that come on with it josiah what they say? I don't want to know. Spaghetti is a long thing that keeps going, keep going on and on. I'm going to let you read it, Elle. Okay, spaghetti is a long thread that keeps going on and on. Uh-huh. <laughs> she said, I'm snorting in laughter. Men compartmentalize. Oh, so like waffles are like... <laughs> oh, give us some more content. No, I like what he said. But I know, but I know, I know Josiah probably looked like. Oh, how men, oh, how men would take women take the long haul. Men be like, a little at a time. What? Oh, <laughs> oh, I can't. No. Oh, Josiah, what is in your wine? <laughs> Wait a minute. We better have real spaghetti sauce, no ragu. Right. <sighs> <laughs> Here's the deal. And this is this, 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 add him to the live. Oh, L got it. So I did. So women think long, long term, and men think in the moment. They have to, like, a <laughs> little bit at a time. Okay, I get you. Well, wait a minute. I got a question. I got, I got a got question. This will be fun. She says, so we can hear his explanation. And Juanetta wanted to come in. How can we bring people in the live? Yeah. So if so um, I'm right, bring Josiah. Ask Josiah if he wants to come on. If not, fine. But I know I didn't see one other type anymore. Um, yeah. So what will happen is you'll go off, I'll add them in, and then you come back in, and then I'll add you back in. 
It won't okay. be a free thing. Okay. So and do you want to come in? What if you, what if you, nothing Josiah is just typing and they okay. can control that emotion. Older men Older younger women because they're insecurities. insecurities. That could be that. I could see that for sure. You know what? I think she's on to something. Because men but like you know women what? about aging. Men have a thing about aging as well. Well, I have a question for, for Juanetta. A question. The older men that pick younger women because of their insecurities, do you feel like the younger women tolerate it, um, tolerate it because of that? I'm okay with going off if... Um, I don't think that Juanetta understands that going live means she's going to be on, on the thing. There. But Josiah said, sure. Josiah, were you saying you were cool with coming on? <laughs> so once she sees Josiah come on and say what he has to say, she'll know. But, but yeah, uh, Josiah, make sure he's okay with coming on. And I'll go off since okay, somebody else wants to hear it. But ask him first. Uh, Josiah, type in there if you're sure you want to come on. Josiah, your consent to come on. <laughs> okay. Are you presentable? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I don't mind going off and okay. you can bring him All right. So we'll get back on, get you back on the second. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This is so fun. I know. Okay, I invited. Let's see if it Instagram been acting up today. She said, and they have to pay without a thought. Women can be too. Do I have to leave it? Um, I need a drink. You shouldn't have to drink. You should go ahead and leave it there. But I invited him. Yeah, go ahead and leave and see. But it's allowing me to. So just I click. Just click you. Josiah, can you see the invitation? Oh, it's I thought you could could do... they have three. I, I think you can. I sent the invitation a few times to Josiah. Can he, Josiah, can you see the invitation? Yeah, he said B shouldn't have to leave. Can you see, can you see the invitation, Josiah? Yes, yeah, says in the room, so it should be. Is he there? Oh, wait. Okay, here we go. Let's accept him. I just accepted him. Oh, for real? I'm hitting accept. Hold on, guys. We're just trying. He to... said he sent a request to you. Yeah, I see it. I'm clicking it. And J. Lou said his guy had four people on one live. Wow. Hold on. Let's see. Accept. What in the world is going on with this thing? Hold on, guys. Because I see the request. It's not letting me. Let's see. Try it. She said a 100-year-old oh. lady, they could just throw some water on it and ours come back to life. <laughs> he said it was four squares. Is it happening? No, it's not letting me accept the request. Well, maybe you want me to try mine because yes, if you can do one more. There's a little so uh, plus so sign just at, the at the bottom of the question mark. Yeah, the plus signs. So it's next to the comment section. It's like a camera with the plus sign. Oh, I don't even see that. I just see a question mark. No. Let's see. Yeah, because it's showing him in the room with us, but it's not. I keep hitting. No, it that. says in this room. Yeah, it's showing he's in the room, but it's not. Let me see. I'm going to just, I'm going to see if this work, this way works. Let's see. Okay. Confirm. Let's see. Now, I just added him as a moderator just to see. Why not just test out some trial and error? Can they do it? Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I don't know what the hell this thing. Yeah. I don't know why. Huh. I don't know what's going on, guys. You want me to leave? 
Yeah, just leave for a second, Baron. Let me see if I can bring him back in. Bring him in. Okay. And then I'll add you back. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know what is going on, guys. It says unable to join. Okay. Bear, if you're there, I just requested you back in. <laughs> you declined it. <laughs> don't decline my request, Bear. Okay. I don't know. So, so what I'm going to do is to join. I don't know why it's not allowing me. So what I'm going to have to do is just do, um, it allows you to go live for practice and I'll have to see why it didn't let me add him. Cause I got his request and accepted it multiple times, but it didn't let me do anything. Hmm. So we'll just save, I guess we'll try the lives for the next week for next week. Cause I don't know what's wrong with this Instagram. Like crap. I would so see if uh, the little worm can't come back without Viagra, so it's easy to pay because they never tell they're getting paid. <laughs> James oh, said, not, the, not the worm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were we? You know what? I had a whole brain freeze. This is good, by the way. It's got a strong kick. Like, whoa. This wine got I'm trying to figure out. Doing the samples in the market. But you know that's really weird that I went off and you couldn't add anybody. Yeah. This, yeah. I may have to play around with it, but you know, Instagram's always doing so many things because I can't even, usually I can hit, Remember, you remember when I was hitting the um, question mark to let the questions pop up? They uh -huh. put that on the account. Well, we'll see. My, my tech person is not here. <laughs> So, okay, we'll we're about to take our shit to TikTok, Instagram. Uh oh. We but, but, we're about to go to Zoom and to air me Instagram. So I know you see me talking. You better get together. And YouTube as well. And YouTube, we'll take it everywhere but Instagram. What did she say? The women won't tell. The oh, the the. Yeah, in regards to when she said the little worm can't come back without. What does she mean? Maybe we're not supposed to come on. No, because Jamie Music said he was just in the live um, before he saw four people on the live at one time. And people bring people in all the time. I don't know what it is, though. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's because it's soft girl season. They, they don't want to. And we black. <laughs> they black banning us. That's what they do to black creators. <laughs> they shout it's all the time. It's because it's soft girl season and they know we got hard right now. We're not gonna go hard to try to figure out why we can't go on. We being soft, so they just gonna get over on us right now. <laughs> I love how you've been using the word soft a lot in our <laughs> Because it's I can't just I just can't do social media. I think maybe I'm getting too old. I'm just like, I don't know, like y'all be just Grinding he said they don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you win. Yeah, I, that's by that kind of bothers me. But that was my, you know, we can. These might be a quick one when we're rolling through the spicy, mild, spicy. But they <laughs> mad because we talking about. <laughs> oh, he said they know you got a bigger pool than Kanye. She said they mad because we talking about that little one. <laughs> um well that in a nutshell is my is my thing. Before you go making your list, make sure you you are even somewhat close to what you asking for. And not necessarily to be with that person, just to be a better person. Exactly. And I think like even for me, like Chloe, Arkansas, Barbie will tell you, I be very vocal with my close people. I'm not afraid to say, hey, well, what do you have to give? You know, what are you bringing to the table? 
You know what I'm saying? Because so. again, we won't get deep into this, but what does it boil back down to? Alignment. <laughs> oh, from last week. I feel like yeah. we talk about alignment every week, so that's why I ain't even gonna get on to it. But it still it it dials back to alignment, you know. Oh yeah, I forgot how to please chief. But but listen, I think that anytime you're talking about progress and moving forward and getting better, elevating all of it, you're gonna come back to those words. Yeah. Alignment, productivity, you know, um, it's just it just it's just how it is, you know. Mm -hmm. Um he said in crackers. So I can Thank bounce it back to you. I can bounce it back to you and you can stay in your spicy or jump in the mile because we are moving faster on the topics today. I'm not gonna keep dragging it. I'm not just gonna keep dragging it. <laughs> what did I pull from? I pulled from spicy last time. You did. But that wasn't it wasn't too spicy. It was it was cool. It wasn't too crazy. So I pulled from my medium. It's whatever you want to pull from. To be honest, I'd be thinking some of my talk is be spicy and medium. They that, all just that, that last one. That last one was soft. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> After that soft today, I don't want to hear no spicy and soft. soft. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had books. I don't know if they're right there, and no, I don't think they are. But it was that last topic wasn't spicy. Ella was soft. You definitely can go back into your spicy ball. <laughs> well, this is soft, but I can pull a spicy. Okay. Okay. Let's see. This glass is giving. You see, I already poured mine. I poured some more of mine, so I already got half. I didn't think because it was so, like they say, full body, but fuck it. We in here. Yeah, this is the, I did the whole glass the first time. I, you know, I don't have to go back to the bottom. You know what? I know. But you know what we didn't do? J. Lou said go back spicy. But you know what we didn't do? Are there any birthdays in here? Oh, any birthdays? birthdays. I'll do a shot of Perrier. Go back spicy up, Perry. I'm just, yeah. gonna hold, I'm just gonna take a shot of this. I'll take a big gulp for y'all. I don't think it's a birthday in here. You just well, looking please, for me to Okay, can I just give a special request out then? You know, my wrap up. <laughs> Wait, you in here. Fuck it, we ball. Can, can we just get, can we just do a gulp for Juanetta? Because Juanetta be Juanetta in. And let's just give a big gulp to Juanetta. Welcome, Juanetta. Welcome, Welcome Juanetta. Look at me holding it like you. That's dangerous. No, but that looks like we're like off somewhere in the backwoods. And he said, yeah. And we like, we like, like, to the gods. To the gods. <laughs> <laughs> yep, in Greece and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Something's off here. You okay. pick a spicy. <laughs> okay, so spicy. It's spicy. Oh, I know. Okay. Holding black men accountable. And <laughs> and we talk, I, I know I've had this, we've had conversations. I know I've, I've had conversations with some of my girlfriends and it's not a bash on black men, but it's, I'm going to give my little blah, 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 and then I'll let you go. <laughs> I feel is, like. By the way, this is spicy. Oh, it's about to get spicy. And I really yeah, wish that we can get I really wish that we can get get a guy in there. It's gonna get spicy. I'm, I'm here try. for it though. If we can get someone, if even if we gotta hang up and get back. I, I will definitely exit stage left because it's soft season. I'm being soft. I I'll I will bless you. I'm it's soft season. <laughs> so I guess this topic for me <clears throat> dials back to black the black woman. It's it's almost like black men have no accountability. Mm -hmm. Black women don't have the option to have a motherfucking soft girl season because we always have to operate in our masculine. Like, shit, black moms are single parents even when they in marriages. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
I don't care if it's a black man, a white man, a white woman, any other race, no one is as resilient. No one can turn shit into a masterpiece and make some innovative shit like a black woman. And so then we have some black men are just, I'm going to say some, and if I don't say some, don't think I'm putting everyone in a box, but you see it a lot. And it's like, there's no accountability. We all are raised differently. But at some point in our age, when does it click for us to say, well, my dad wasn't there. So I don't know what it feels like to have that love or how to treat a woman. At what point do you not go do your fucking research to know how to treat a woman? And even for women, it's like, shit, like, hell, my mom was on drugs. My grandma raised us. I could be out in the streets, gang banging, selling twat, doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but I, I chose my own path. I, I, I didn't want to be down that road. You know what I'm saying? So oftentimes, and, and this can go for women too, but just in general, like black women, when you're in a relationship with black men, and they have their own issues. It's just like, when do you be accountable for your shit? As a Black woman, we are tired of carrying ourselves, carrying you, the man, carrying our children, carrying motherfuckers at work, carrying the day-to-day -day that we deal with, with racism and discrimination and just the hate we get for being Black. You know what I'm saying? When, when are we going to get our fucking soft girl season? When are you guys going to be accountable and realize, God damn, we need to hold my queen up even higher because I know what she's going through. Bitch, when? When? And I feel like I got so much in my head that I just want to say, but in a nutshell, at some point, we can't keep being your hand to keep pulling you up. Because you're weighing us down. And we want to be together. If we ain't a part, if we ain't partners and like this pulling together, I can't as a black woman keep putting my hand down to pull you up. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of black women and black men don't see it and no one else sees it because they already see us as strong as super women. We didn't ask for the cake. We don't want to be superwoman. We don't want y'all to say y'all are strong. Bitch, I'm not strong. Okay? I am not strong. So stop putting that on me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, take your accountability, take your responsibility, and do your part so we as a Black family can be big, be greater, create legacy, create what we need to create for our family, but for the people below us to see. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, <sighs> so you go on, Bera, and then I'll chime back in with some shit. But hey, well, first, I wanna, first I want to highlight some of the things that were said while you were oh, talking. I'm a because we can't get people to join in. Um, brace I just yourself. <laughs> Lucy, huh? brace yourself. Um, right, Lucy, right. we ain't running. It's soft. Soft season for me, or maybe you said soft. I never hear other men talking about my girl has to hold me down. Um, mm -hmm. And then let's see, Arkansas Barbie said, I'm not trying to be superwoman at work and home. Jay Lou said, we tend to hold on to our traumas as a scapegoat. Very true, We, you guys do. But at what point do you guys realize that's, that's her harming the um the family the conglomerate you know what i'm saying and then juanetta said black men are not allowed to be men when you open your car door when you don't allow them to work more than one job no we all get red flags in the beginning but it's ignored <clears throat> it's who you choose and then j lou said i understand your plight hey Jay and then Lou, someone said i was tuning in and just oh, hey, read Hey, um, our topic is black men being accountable. We, you, you missed a couple of other topics, but our current topic is black men being accountable. So just tune in and engage because it's 
it's been saucy all night. Um, why well, now the comments are coming in, Bear. You want me to keep reading? I'm reading, and then I said, I'm gonna just find me an African prince because I ain't working as a wife, especially if he <laughs> wants kids. Stupid, and so, you know, just the ones you, I wanted to read those those comments. I know they're gonna keep coming in, but I wanted to touch on. I wanted to acknowledge those and tie them into how you know what my my thoughts are. Yeah. So. One of the things I think about when it comes to, because you said black men, the black man, is the dynamics of how they're reared and how we're reared. It's already a disconnect. A, most black men are coming up under a black woman playing the man, dad, and mom, and dad. So he's seeing a woman in her masculinity. And she's trying to be a mom. That's just the that's statistics, I believe. No, you know, is, it is. So when you see that, and it's like your mom was getting in your ass, and she was bringing home the, the money, and she was supporting you and wiping your tears and telling you be strong, and you saw her, but that's not how it's supposed to be. That's not that's not how I don't believe that. And then you have a black woman coming up under another strong black woman. And she she may be telling you, listen, you gonna have to handle your business because ain't nobody gonna give you nothing, and you know put on your big girl draws and do what you gotta do and all that. So she is already equipped to. I ain't see no man handling it. I saw my mama handling it, and I'm gonna go get it. And if I don't, I'm stupid because that's how I I, I knew it was already set up where nobody wasn't coming for me. And Nobody then we don't even know how to operate in love. Right, but you can't even bring that into the equation. We talk about survival. We're talking about a, a, a mother equipping her daughter or her son as best as she can being minus one parent. It's supposed to be two. So when you get people, I believe, coming into a relationship, lacking the communication, you know, whether they got together based on attraction and he's nice to me and he, you know, I, he's the best version of what I'm looking for. Because sometimes we talked about that last week. You want a tomahawk steak, but you got a hot dog. You can, I'll take it. I'll just take it. It's like, why are you taking Why are you getting a hot dog and you said you wanted a steak? It's not even in the same, like, it's not the same. So... When you, whatever brought you together, whether he was nice, whether he, you know, he was the best thing you ever had, whatever, if the communication is not there or an understanding of you guys already have this underlying issue, I don't know what I'm supposed to do as a man. And as a woman, I know I'm with you, but I ain't never really seen a version of you be there. Nobody held it down for my mama, my grandmama, my aunt. My, you know, my, my, my friends, I've never seen that. So I'm cool with you, but I got it. I, I, I got one eye open because if you, you miss a beat, look like you're going to miss one. I, I got it. I got, I can get it. I can do it myself. Yeah. And then I've seen this, and I, I mean, it's no deal on other races because I've seen it where they say, you know, it's been said black women are aggressive or we don't know how to be, have a soft season. <laughs> you know, we don't know how to <laughs> wait. I'll keep our, that, create our own soft season. I like keep hitting that all this line because that's crazy. But we don't know how to be docile or feminine, you know. And it's like, what? And we do, how, but everything is against us, so we have no choice but to operate in our masculine the majority well, of the time. Well, we have to look at the definition of masculine and feminine. That's a whole other thing. But I think it goes back to Juanetta, what she said. It's who you choose. Yeah. If I'm with a man and he's not required to open the car door, I work three jobs, you know, he stays home and changes the diapers, and that's the dynamics of our household, you like it, I love it. Yeah. So first you got to get into it with what you want. Exactly. And then we can't make it about the black man. It's just what type of man you want. But when we start looking at the dynamics that we say black men, we have to have some empathy and understanding and also a readiness to, to listen and then, you know, not come with a retort, but listen. And then we can have a dialogue because 
he necessarily is not equipped with what we even thinking we're supposed to have. And we already are in a position where we like, you ain't going to do it anyway. Yeah. You not. Even if you try, I'm still over here already because you're just not going to do it. I never seen them, nobody do it, and you're not going to do it. And so it comes across as aggressive, lack of trust. She don't let me do nothing. Oh, my God. And then that's how you see they would, you know, this person's more submissive. She listens. She don't give me all that back talk. You know, all of that. But if, if we don't talk about the black man, you when you get with any black man, if he's willing to have a conversation, if communication can happen, and you guys can have some patience with each other and put some action items on the table, you can begin to see if he's even about that life. Now, he might be doing some great A bullshit where he's just not, like, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I was really liking living handicapped. I really liked yeah. saying. Like, at what point? At what but point? It's not at, but, but L, it's not at what point because, but J. Lou said, the trauma. What I'm saying is, you learn I'm going to give you the space, and you say at what point, to put all that on the table. The trauma, the mistrust, the, the miseducation, the lack of knowledge. Put, give it to me. Give it to me. And now we're going to talk about it. And now that you know, my, my favorite saying is, you either don't know or you don't give a damn. Yeah. Right? So now that we've had this conversation, now that we're communicating, and now that we've got some, oh, I didn't know that you thought I, I was aggressive. I didn't know that when I did that, he belittled you or he emasculated you. I didn't know those things. So now I know some stuff, right? And he's telling me about the traumas. So what do I do with that? Do I take it and it's like, fuck that shit anyway, you know? Or do I take it and it's like, okay, these are things that I know that I didn't know. And how can I move forward and, and we come together and do better? Because I know what he needs help with and he knows what I need help with. But if there's no communication, no understanding, he don't know what he's doing. He's working with some half-assed principles or thoughts of what a black man should be. And we don't know if the pimps are on his block or the homies or whoever was teaching him how to be a man. And all, all the black woman knows is, I don't see my grandma, my mama, my auntie, we go get it. You, you, it's going to always be that narrative. You have to, because you know how you feel about a black man, when you're dealing with one in any capacity, there has to be a conversation that's had. Because you already feel that way. You can't be with one, feel that way, and he's doing bullshit, and you like, we got to talk about this. Now, you said, when is enough enough? You know what enough is? When I fucking told your ass and you still on some bullshit. That. If you still on bullshit, you know better. You choose not to do better. Now, it's up to me to decide whether I want to deal with that shit. Because that's not about black. That's about whatever choosing. you are not changing, you are choosing. Exactly. That's not about black. Whatever it's about choosing. You're choosing. Right. So, if I, if I tell you, you know, I don't really like when you say these things to me or you say you're going to do something and you don't follow through it's, it creates distrust I, you know that's what makes me put my cape on and soft season is over and now I'm hard. soft season was taken off and you made it bring it back right right well, it's hard and now you know i'm back back in the you know i'm back with my pants on and you don't like that but when you do those things it puts me in that seat if he continues to do those things, then he's letting you know. Yeah, I know, but I don't give a damn. I just don't. I don't want to do better. I just want to keep living like that. That's that's my truth. Yeah, that is my truth, and I'm gonna keep doing this. It's gonna be a perpetuated cycle, on and on and on, and, and until whenever. You know what did she say? The take last night when stopped by the law, it's expected to act a certain way so you can make it home act. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. What, what did Josiah say? Oh, the song, I think Josiah said it's two folds. What is he saying? Oh, because there is. Okay, so I'm going to just go back to the comments. Okay. Um, 
uh, J. Lou said, we be learning on the fly, believe it or not. And I agree with you, J. Lou. Y'all do be learning on the fly. Um, most people don't know how to talk, Arkansas Barbie said. Juanetta said, excuse me, sorry, this is all by design. <laughs> it's fine. It was all by design. We always have a choice it your list and they got bullshit white black purple men let's just talk about men period um lanita said if our men were like old school men and stepped up they would never have to see our masculine side man up j lou said no nah, them old school men was on bs too though and it was just a different type of bs arkansas barbie said i get aggressive when i see you're slipping and then josiah said to lanita women have stuff they need to women up on as well and then Josiah said that puts the ball in their court I, to man up. And then I, I would love to, because this is good. I would love to. I really wish we could try to get the guy, a guy back in there again. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see what I can do. Hold on. Because, I mean, you know, I'm cool. Like, I'm so cool with having... I know you try to have to sign again, but I'll go I'm off. Try J. Lou. I'm J. Lou. I'm trying you. Let's, let's well, see if he if he's cool with coming in. Are you cool, J. J. Lou? If not, just decline my request. I was like, do do do. <laughs> and you should try J. again too. Do you think it's a phone thing? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, cause he okay. Let's see. She said, "Let's talk about the word submission." Why are you doing that? Yes. And, and it's and 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 uh, what's the I'm name? I'm accepting, name? but it's not letting me add in. Like let's, said, let's, this is Yak O. Is that what that is? Yako. 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 Yes. Submission. I I I'm willing. I think it, I think submission can go both ways. I think there are things a man with the right woman will will have some form of comfort, trust. Submission, he, he's going to be in a different way around the right woman. And I believe, too, the right man will unlock certain things in a woman, sub submission-wise. You put the right type of man, with, I'm saying for me, I, we will be soft. It won't be a season. We soft every time he around, okay? You put, you join it later, Yanko, but we talked about this trend about soft yes. season. It's, it's soft season for women. Like, what? Are we aggressive or hard all the other seasons? But I will. you will submit or, or be soft or be docile or be comfortable, you know, be vulnerable with the right type of man because he allows it, because there's a, a, a amount of trust that's given. There's amount of, um, amount of, I believe, openness that happens because of the relationship. I think you can't do any type of submitting or anything if I can't trust you, if I can't communicate with you, if we already on two different life levels, I can't even begin to think about submission because I'm trying to go get it. I'm trying to handle everything. I'm believing in my mind that I'm wearing two hats because I'm already feeling like the statement you led with. The black man is not doing this. You know what I mean? So I'm already coming from a place of like, why would I submit to you when you're not even rising to the occasion of being what I feel that I need, you know? And so that kind of sucks because I think it's just lack of understanding and communication is happening. I think the people are coming, it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. It's like, it's unfair. It's unevenly weighted unless you have communication, unless you talk about those thoughts that you have already, Ella, you feel like society puts out these statistics or says about black men or your own experience you got to tell the brother you would this has been my experience this is how i feel this has been what i've you know um dealt with on a consistent basis for a majority of my life not just in relationship with man partner wise spouse boyfriend you know but also whether it's i couldn't depend on my uncles i couldn't depend on my brothers you know what i'm saying I've never had a man in my life, a black man as a black woman, it's always been strong women around me. So I don't look at you as a strong black man. We got to start there. If I don't look at you as a strong black man, that's uneven when you come in. He don't got a fighting chance because you don't have any examples of that. You already coming in with, you, I've never seen a strong
strong black man. And you'll never be that because all I've seen is strong black women. And I'm a strong black woman. So what you gonna do? You know what I mean? Sorry, I've got my my um We're working in home book. I'm over here trying to see what the F am um why they won't let us add people into our rooms. Cause we should mm -hmm. be able to add, but for some reason and I know my IG should be updated because I just updated unless they had another. Do you update. want, can Sip and Live send a request? See if you can. How am I able to do that? You guys, um, I'm still not on, on top of this. Do you have a bottom, but I'm not sure. Can oh, my bottom, it just says add it? comment. It's a question mark. Yeah, next to the comment, do you see a camera with a plus? No. So then you can't. Um, But let me, I'm going to try one other thing. So don't like give me a second let me just try this okay um where's the thing yeah okay i'm gonna remove you for a second bear okay do you see just a plus sign oh hey guys <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh jesus Let's see, J. Lou, I just accept your request. Let's see if you can get in there. It just keeps, I push it and it just keeps bringing you back to accept. Hi, Sibylas. I'll see. Okay. Oh, who, what just happened? Did y'all see that? Okay, let me, let me see if this lets me do anything. Nope. Who's this? Oh, why is it let me? me put you? I know I just tested it out, but I think the other people follow. We follow each other I, too. Really? I but think we that's already the follow each is. other, so it shouldn't be an you, issue. But you, so you follow the people yeah. that are trying to. Me and Jay Lou follow each other. Me and Josiah maybe not, but Josiah just followed me. Me and Jay Lou follow each other. So, That's weird. Um, I accidentally let me put. Some okay, no, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take you out. Hold on, I'm gonna take you out. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> hey to the well. Hey, welcome to the new people. I see my aunt Cheryl up in here. Okay, Auntie Cheryl, I see you. I see you. Okay, Bear, I'm adding you back, and I am doing some. Are you there, Bear? Did you get in, girl? <laughs> Bear, request me. Request me, Bear. Request to join. I'm back. Yeah, so what happened? Oh, me you and Chloe, because me and Chloe are friends. I know Josiah just followed me while we're doing the did live. You to do I think did you want to try the... following Kim, but me and J. Lou, I believe, are both following each other. What did you, did you want to try to, did you try Josiah or J. Lou again? I did, and it didn't work. Well, I was thinking when I couldn't, I started talking, you know, I'm not really super tech savvy on this. I was thinking, could she request one of them, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Wow. So what we're going to have to, to be honest, once we start getting some traction, we might go on to air meet, to be honest. So we can try accepting her. Yeah. See if she goes in. Try accepting her while we're on. That's interesting. It we're just might doing be, we just follow each other. Did she come in? Oh, I think I got her. No, I shouldn't even have to. Rem is she there it is. There wow. She we don't want to see your food. She's in here now. Give us the feedback. You know, what are your thoughts? You can speak on it. We'll bring some other people in. If you in, let's let's talk about it. I don't want to be on live. I just want to. She's <laughs> like, I'm at work. Come so. on with it. Come on. I'm at work. Oh, don't okay. force her. Don't force her. No, I'm at work, though. That's, that's we, ap work. we appreciate you. I was just trying to help y'all out. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you. We appreciate you engaging me because you know I'm a forcer. I'm an enforcer. I'm like, what? No, but we're not gonna do what that. What's that? Y'all drunk? <laughs> you see that? I, I love it. I see that. that. Oh, dang! We got hate new people. Okay, okay. Oh, Jonathan <laughs> needed even drawing. Okay. <laughs> Flyboy J three. That's my son. <laughs> Yay! See if you can get. Well, see if you can bring bring someone else in there because I love to hear different perspectives. I would not. I would do the guys. I would love to hear some of the guys. I Me too. Oh, 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 it's like let, let's get some guys in here and let's hear what they have to say. You know what? So Instagram is shady. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> they don't. Want okay. To how do I turn off my live? Okay. How do I get off? I'll remove you. Click off. Yeah. Click the X off and then come back in. Okay. I mean, you're out. <laughs> See if you can try to oh, slide. My aunt said. I want to join. We have our sip too. Maya be drinking that wine. <laughs> try to see. Try to see if you can get Josiah or J. Lou in. Because I'm about to go old school. I I'm have to. Try. It, it will I not have to be in. Hold on. I have to track Josiah down. Hold on, Darren. I want Ben's opinion on it. Oh, and look, I don't even remember my damn Instagram. J. Lou I'm trying to log on play. right now. Let me see. Juanetta unable to join. That's because I don't follow her. But J. Lou, I know I follow you because you follow me. Um, we hold on, guys. Go in a minute. I'm going to just switch out. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out what my password is because I don't want to change it and then it kicks me out. Um, I think we just have to switch him and he can just sit in. Yeah, I might have to um, start the live over, but that would suck. No, I'm don't do that. No, no. I'm going to see something. I'm just going to switch out. Okay. And just, oh, can, and just, okay. Just uh, if he's okay with that, ask okay. it. Josiah, are you okay with just switching physically with me? Josiah, or you guys can sit in the same frame. I'm. I, I don't mind switching out. I can just grab him, get switch. But I want to hear a man, a male's opinion on this. It's important. Are you okay with that, Josiah? Um, what is he still there? Josiah, I know he's still here. He probably trying to figure some stuff out too. Yeah, but I, while I, again, while we're while we're waiting, but you know, just for the people, I, that to I just keep talking. I'm on my um, that's my uh, uh -huh. book. Let me log in on my iMac. I'm logged into my Instagram on my iMac. So give me a second, guys. Okay, so I just feel like. <laughs> Yeah, you can keep talking. We can We're going to switch it out. We're going to switch out, and Josiah can switch in. I'm going to have his phone, okay? Yeah. Josiah, what is up? Hey. <laughs> hey. How are you? So, like, let's talk. Let's talk about this, because you are, to be young, you're very mature. Uh -huh. um, and so this is going to be an interesting conversation. So, like, let us know. Give give us the deets. Give us the deets. Oh. <laughs> well, I was saying I I put in the comments. I was saying that uh, I think it's Lydia or right? Ida. She was saying um, that like men need to man up and like take care of stuff. And I know that Bear was saying about the whole communication and stuff. Women don't communicate either. Like, I would feel more. At least from the people that I've met, the girls that I've met, if you want something, because I'm a dude who is responsible and will take accountability for the stuff that I messed up on. But if you don't tell me in terms of like what you, how you really feeling, then it's kind of like a man can operate or be under that cloak of if I don't know, then I'm not. If you know better, you do better. And if somebody's saying that what you're doing is okay or they're accepting of it, then it kind of just puts the man in the seat to like not to do bullshit. Like, I'm a person who will easily agree. There's tons of dudes that I see do bullshit, but they get away with it. Or it's like, it's cute until it isn't. And then everybody's like, oh, blackball them and do this. And then it's like, all right, now. But it's like, did the woman at, from from jump point be like, no, nah, that's not cool. I'm not, I'm not going to accept that. Even someone like you can look at celebrities that do it all the time and see like they're getting with the dudes that clearly say what type of bullshit they on and they music or and the lifestyle that they live, and they be like, no, 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 it's like, and then 
they they allow it so another dude can come by and be like oh, okay that's what's acceptable cool I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing and then it's you just start this perpetuated cycle and that's funny you said that so i on my youtube i don't know how she even popped up on my algorithm maybe because mm -hmm. she was talking business i think her name was like nicole rich or something girl in um new york she had like surgery she got her teeth done her body done and stuff but she saying she had did a vlog and she was talking about how future was in her dm like hella hard and she was like she's single she ain't got no kids like she was like why would i want to be with a man like that who has eight baby mamas eight kids by eight different baby mamas and this is how he treated the last baby mom he didn't want to have a kid was like she just recognized his disrespect so it goes to like what you were saying like you he's telling you the type of person he is you're either gonna flock to it or you're gonna be like you know what i'm not with that you know what i'm saying yeah. and the other thing you said about communication I'm, I'm a, such a big communicator, and I think that that is where a lot of relationships, whether they're boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, friends, family, go wrong is just lack of communication. You have to know how to communicate and convey your message without making someone else feel like you're downing them. But we all need to know how to communicate. Like men, I've come across a lot of men who are horrible at communicating but also a lot of women who are horrible at communicating. And I think that if we knew how to properly communicate and convey our message in a way that is not disrespectful, I think that we can actually accomplish a lot in our relationships. And I think it, I think I agree. I think it definitely comes down to the how you communicate as well. But I find that a lot of people don't know what their wants and needs are too. So it's kind of on that side of like, you can be mad about how someone's doing something, but if you can't effectively say what they're doing or effectively like know what you want, then it comes across as you being irritable. You might not even know what you're mad at, but you're like, you got in this shitty situation because you didn't know what you wanted in the first place. Yeah. So you're not even able to communicate. It's like you throwing a tantrum. You're like, I'm mad, but I don't know why. It's like, because you don't know what you want. Like that's- A lot of people get in relationships because they just want to be in a relationship. But they yeah. don't know what comes with being in relationship the communication like you said the wants and needs like you can't you can't just jump in a relationship because you in a relationship you want to get married you want to have kids you want the white picket fence all this this and that when you don't even know that that's what you want in life you just want to be in something sometimes we just yearn for the wanting to be wanted yeah it's you know what i'm saying a hundred percent. And it and it goes there too. I feel like too, I was reading a book. I think what was that book called? It was um I think it was uh it's complicated, but it doesn't have to be. It was some dating book. But oh, yeah. I think yeah, have you heard of it? I have heard of it. He was saying one of the chapters that women and men both have these lists on like what they what what they want and he has to be this and she has to be that and all that other stuff and they don't look at the need part. So even though that there is that, you have to look at you as a person, and you guys touched on it earlier in the live too, where you're saying your lists are like this, there needs to be realistic lists as well, because you can differentiate what's something you need in your life for you to grow. Because a water, a, a plant needs water in order to, to thrive in, in sunlight and in, in good soil. It's not going to be like, oh, you know, I'd love it if I was sitting in this position over here with, with these other plants. Like I want to be next to the sunflowers. Like that could be a want, but you're not, the stuff that you need in order for the longevity and stuff and for you to be able to grow as a person, that's something you have to be realistic about and really take the time to think. Otherwise, like you said, it's not gonna hold, it's not gonna hold weight if you get with somebody that doesn't have those intangibles. Yeah, and you know what, aside from that book, which is black author guys, um, the book, The yeah. Five Love Languages, like uh -huh. y'all don't even gotta read. I feel like like I I like to read and have a physical book, but when I'm working and stuff, I just put on like the audio books and like the five love languages. Like when you really listen to it and break it down, you're realizing what your love language is, but you're also realizing what your partner's love language is. So then you know how to operate with your partner knowing that that's what their love language is and if they read that book 
they're going to know what your love language is. So then you guys should be able to operate in each other's circle properly without tension. But mm. again, in the relationship, y'all both got to just be open to listening or reading the books or doing the work so you can understand your partner properly. And I think sometimes communication comes from actually reading a book or like listening to a podcast or an audio book. Sometimes you might not get it because your partner is telling you. Sometimes you might get it from a third party. Which yeah, is why let's see. I know these comments going crazy. I know, right? <laughs> and I know it's exactly what you said, honestly. It's about doing the work. And that there's irony in that shit too when you saying that because somebody can have the knowledge and lack implementation and then you're saying the work itself. How you gonna work on being with somebody else and you haven't even worked on yourself? So if that's that's where that work. That's what you were saying. The work on that. So that's where somebody needs to check themselves as well. I've been seeing goes back to again, like I keep saying every week. We're talking about alignment. You yeah, my mood with anything unless you are work. You can't be in alignment unless you're working with them first. Because working mm -hmm. with them first is going to put the energy out, and then that's going to attract. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. to be aligned to have what you're asking for to be open to conversation and communication, you have to be in alignment with yourself first, foremost, do the work yourself first and foremost, before you can even get, a, you can't get in a relationship with baggage. Mm -mm. You can get a relationship, it just don't work like that. Like, it's like two of y'all got motherfucking baggage and it's like, uh, what's that baggage be? 35 and 35. <laughs> Unless you want um Southwest, okay? Because yeah. <laughs> if don't... you want Delta, you looking at seventy dollars for y'all baggage. <laughs> and don't and get if it's over thirty five pounds. <laughs> yeah. No, and don't get it misconstrued too. That somebody can come in with some stuff. It's just like that's that stuff that you neglected that you could have yeah. fixed yourself. It's like somebody bored. Like it's like, all right, is the house just messy today, or could you have got rid of some of this stuff before you met me and you just chose to let it sit? You know, because no one's going to be perfect when they get into it. You just want to take care as much as you can while you're alone so that whoever you, once you're aligned with who you're supposed to be with, then it's just, it's smoother. It's smooth sailing, you know? Yes, I agree. I agree because we all come, none of us just are baggage free. We all have something, whether it's from family traumas, other relationship traumas, or just self traumas. We all have some baggage. Mm -hmm. It's just working through it, communicating that with your partner, because your partner might be able to make help you work through your trauma. Yeah. But how would they? How will they know? Unless you communicate. Unless you communicate. <laughs> Where are you at? This They're going to know. How will they know? They're going to know. You know. <laughs> They're going to know. How will they know? How will they... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I like. I'm a huge advocate of communicating i think honestly i probably i may over communicate because if i'm feeling any kind of way i'm the type of person like i need to get this off my chest because it's going to eat at me yes it's going to eat at me and i need you to know how i'm feeling how your actions or what you said made me feel so you can understand so you can do something differently and then i can do something differently you know what i'm saying and that's a great habit to build. You keep practicing that, and that's going to be the foundation. Like, it's not going to – we're talking about the majority here, not the, not the minority in terms of, like, you know, us, because we know what level and what time time we're on. We're building ourselves and wanting like-minded individuals to be there. But in terms of the majority, a lot of people aren't practicing that communication, like that communication skill. They're just letting it, letting it go through. So people watching and people who are tuning in later when they watch the video, it's like that's something that they would – be consciously thinking about is am i practicing something because you can't just not practice communication and then get in something and be like oh i'm i'm a perfect communicator now like that's not how it's gonna work and all i can say is to everyone who's on this live because <clears throat> i know we all have these issues read a book listen to a podcast listen to an audio book and just take you don't have to do exactly what they're saying but take in the information so you can apply it where it is needed like information is so valuable mm -hmm. you literally do not know 
what can help you and what not like just a simple podcast that i used to listen to and i still do to this day from three years ago just changed my life you know what i'm saying so use that information because it could it could save you could save your relationship or in your future you know what i'm saying so just um you know take the time do your due diligence you know do your <clears throat> search find out what's going to be best for you and your relationship and stuff you know what i'm saying oh yeah most definitely i agree i agree that was my two cents on it yeah thank you. look at this look i'm just saying like sip live we we are lit and we are live <laughs> and i'm just glad we're bringing people in now like this is thank you josiah like and Thank you for being mature and giving a great like example and your feedback because we love to have male feedback, the female feedback. It just works. The balance is, it is. It's so, yeah, a hundred percent. Thank you for having me. I feel honored. Thank you. Well, hopefully, we'll see you again. <laughs> you will. You will. We bear. We can we just toast right now. Come on. You know, I can not even I, I, look, I need to stop cursing because um Instagram gonna really shallow ban us, but I can't help it because it's just in my nature. But I just wanna toast because this is only our third sip and live and we've been getting some good traction, some good conversation. We we done let Josiah in, who is just mature and got a lot of information, a lot to say. And I just love it. Like, I feel so good to just be able to talk and be myself. And we, bitch, cheers to us. And to our tribe, to our whinies. He said, he said get him me on Google. <laughs> Jalen said, get him me on Google. No, yes, it's that Billy talk. I, 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 I was I was gonna start commenting, but I thought it would get confusing because it was like Josiah's commenting. So yeah, like, yeah. Um, let's see. So let wait, me. we gotta. Um, so I need to go back to the comments because Cheryl okay. was like, "Let us in." She trying to get well, in. Well, well, it's, it's, can I say this? Um, we're you know this is the, the third one, and we're gonna have hopefully plenty of time to let different people in. Yes. We specifically tried to do that because it's too often the narrative is. You get a bunch of us together talking about, you know, black men and this. And it's like, you know, let's get one of them in if we can yeah. to, to, to hear what their thoughts are. Yeah. And, you know, because there, like, there, it may be 20% of women who have these issues with black men. And then right. there may be 20% that don't or 80% that don't. But, to be able to have someone come in and speak to it just makes the conversation even better you know what I'm saying? we're gonna, we're gonna we're figure not out asking, we're having a conversation we're having transparency but guess what you know it's communication that's happening yes that's where it starts Just to that because they want us to be hitting the um it's the it's headlines. we don't need headlines no, but it's communication. So if we could get one guy in there, I know Jay Lou was saying send a request. I think it's good. I think it's important. And that's what we talked about. I was saying earlier. The communication, hearing some of his insight and thoughts and his, you know, some transparency or just some like open questions like, no, that's what you think I'm thinking. But that's not it. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like this. And I didn't get to hear the whole conversation, but you know, I just, I feel like um, that's the beginning. Just yeah. something as simple as what just happened with you and him. Yeah. That is the beginning of understanding or I thought that you felt, or, you know, not, he yeah. can't speak for everyone, but he can say, this is, th this is something that I'm thinking. And you could say, oh, and we can share with each other. This is how it starts, you know? sharing with each other even the inside he gathered from some things you thought he can take that back and have conversation with other males about you know that's you know i think that but i had a conversation with you know l on you know on a topic where it was like black men and so i think black men me too and boom 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 so i think that that's where it starts the communication and putting some action items on the table because now that 
I can't stand when somebody tells me what I'm not doing or what they, you know, everything that's not right. And it's like, okay, now that you told me all that, how do I get better? What can I do to, to you know, not be the, the statistic, the narrative? What can I do to not be what you're, you know, waiting for? You know, what you're accustomed to, the stereotype, the narrative. Help me. Help me help change the narrative or the stereotype or what you're accustomed to. So when that happens, you got to be ready because I just had this conversation yesterday. Do not. Oh, my God. I can't stand it. And then when somebody says, well, what can I do? What do you want? It's it's crickets because you don't know. Mm -hmm. You're so used to just fussing all the time that you don't even. It's like, I want to meet the demands. I want to be better. I want to. I want to not be what you're accustomed to. So, what can I do? And then you, the, the woman is like, I, 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 I'm just used to fussing, you know. So, in that, if you're gonna put all that on the table about what, what is doing the narrative, all this stuff, tell them what they can do to get better or to change the narrative. Tell them what they can do. You know, and tell others what they can do in a sense. You know, each one, teach one. You know, reach one, teach one. Each one, like the, you know, it's like reach one, teach one. And then each one can go teach one. I'm making my own stuff up. I'm following out exactly how it goes. And yeah, if I reach one, it's the one. We, we understand. If you know, you know. <laughs> but I'm saying if you reach one and teach one, and then each one goes and teaches one, then we're spreading the knowledge. You know what like I'm saying? I said, a couple weeks ago what is it pull them up pull them up yeah oh yeah oh yeah you know so oh i'm glad your um your give back your pay it forward you can't think you're going to get somewhere in life i don't care if it's in a relationship still pay it forward to the people younger than you so they know how to treat a woman or to treat a man and vice versa or to treat your family to treat your friend (laughs) teach one Pull them up. This, you know. That was real. That was a spicy one. Did we? I mean, I didn't get to see. Oh, I had a wine. I got some more in the fridge, though. No, it's Rosada. Now you need to mix it I with have, water. We so need to keep. I do go to work tomorrow, but Carlo has a doctor's appointment at eight forty at nine, and I'll be there eight forty-five. So I got a little time, but this is, I might go pour a little Rosetta up in there. No, you need to keep your wits about you. I'm looking at these comments because I didn't get to see these comments when I was gone. Um, Let's scroll down. You know how to scroll back down? Somebody said taking on fees like Spirit Airlines. Hold Men on. just got to stop being crazy and listen to us. Men. Right. Okay, hold on. Let me. I'm, I don't scroll down hella far. Hold on. Um, The last night when we stopped by, like, so, uh, Okay, so we passed them. Okay, let's talk about the word submission. We already talked about that. Are your God, okay. Let's see. Oh, we found, okay, we got tackled that. We strong because we gotta be man and woman. Yeah, we talked about that, Yako, the masculine, feminine. Um. Oh, the man talking in here. Get on so we can see. Okay. Oh, I saw where you said hi. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, Ever can make it happen. We got to soften up. It's plenty of good men, no shortage. But when you make the choice, it then comes out of your hands. The man that we find a wife. Um, Let's see. <laughs> One that say y'all drunk. We just tipsy. <laughs> I'm good. I'm not even tipsy. I'm just scared. I'm tipsy. You see my eyes? Oh, I can tell you. That's why when you said you're going to pour a little more, I said, Tara, I can't ever hide when I'm not, I don't know, my eyes just automatically just tell it all. Like, you good, even though you be slurring sometimes, but my eyes literally, I'm just going to flip my hat back. (laughs) I flip my hat around because I was trying to drink. But the glass is so big, huh? They're so big. So I have to flip, so now I'm just so y'all can see that I am tipsy. Um, okay, hold on. Let's see. 
um Juanetta said women accept that in the beginning and then pull the switch on a brother um and J. Lou said we don't know what we deal with until we get it <laughs> most women think they can change the man Juanetta said and J. Lou said but I think we do that too um let's see Yako said, sometimes we tend to show love based on what ours is. We got to show love based on theirs. Oh, J. Lou said, great point. All right. Juanetta said, you can get gangsta behind closed doors with a man. It's an inappropriate, it's inappropriate in public. We should discuss any and everything in the beginning. We move in with the brother, then we want to talk about afterwards. She she's right about that too. Yeah. You, you gotta you put it all, all, all on the table in the beginning. It's like you here now. Yeah. You here now? It's like you here. Um, but that what was the read 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 the caption of that topic again? It said you can get gangsta behind no, 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 no. your your topic from the spicy bowl. The, oh. the topic. Oh, it was just gonna write it down. Black man being accountable. Black man, be I'm writing it down because you guys now uh, we are putting the full lives on Instagram. I'm not, I'm sorry, Instagram, but YouTube, mm -hmm. so you can follow the YouTube watch sipping live on YouTube, and the full ones are there. It won't be on Instagram. I'll just do little snippets of recaps if you you know. And let's have a conversation it. there. Y'all might go back and look at the live and have more to say. And we're on TikTok with our recap, so make sure y'all follow us on TikTok, too. Mm -hmm. And make sure y'all follow us on Instagram. And if there's topics that y'all want to talk about, when we go live, DM us on Instagram or watch live at gmail.com because we are a community that y'all want to talk about, too. The topics me and Barry come up with are definitely things that we know other people are thinking about so send us your topics too and so we can all tackle them um i because we went in on that i um are you cool with pulling another topic l or you guys want to wrap it up i'm good girl oh you would did you i pulled this last topic so it's your topic girl no 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 it's my turn you pulled it is my turn but i'm saying are you guys are you guys still good to go for another topic can you keep going you guys hear another topic let them know where they can get the smoke <laughs> let me know you guys if you want to go want me to do another topic or we can wrap it up spicy or mild and um the topic y'all i'm a natural talker i'll keep talking i'm good i'm good to go Sexual topic, of course, Lanida. Well, sexual, it might be in the spicy bowl because all I'm gonna do, um, I mean, is the uh, <laughs> for me, hi, so, I'll dig into the spicy bowl, um, and let me think for a minute, just one moment. Let me see, give me a second. Okay. Look, you had, you had, um, Harlow with you last week, and uh, my my uh, my dog is here wanting to wanting to go outside. I'm gonna let him out, but cause yeah, y'all ain't seen Harlow because remember we talked. Yeah, yeah, that's he good. So I'm gonna let him out, and you can uh, answer any of the questions. You know. Yeah, answer some questions. Then I'm gonna let him out real quick, and I'm gonna pull from. I'm feeling spicy. Okay, she's uh -huh. feeling spicy, and Barry told me not to, but I'm just gonna feel this little bit. With this Moncaro Rosata, it's also fair trade. Um, it's delish. It's kind of like a, a rosé. Like, you got people saying they want one more. Give the people what they want, J. Lou. Okay, we, we are. We about to give the people what y'all sipping on. Let me know what y'all sipping on. Come on, we need to know what y'all sipping on while we're waiting for Barry to pull our topic. I think we already know. We know. Well, Lanita, you're at work. Chloe, you're pregnant. Juanetta, you got a drink. What you sipping on? Josiah, we know what you sipping on. Milan, what you sipping on, girl? Water, Lanita. <laughs> Cheryl, right. what you sipping on? Y'all said. So this is the. This is the last topic of the. Just a little bear. Just a little. Ah. Uh, this is the last topic of the night. 
I'm gonna go on the spicy bowl. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I'm getting off because because you all in. <laughs> you know we got. Lenita, Lenita, Lenita got, Lenita got her wish. <laughs> Lenita got her wish. Oh. Are women expected to do more sexually? Oh, <laughs> so this is a this is a man. This is a great topic that uh, I put it in my spicy bowl on purpose because even back to like anybody that didn't uh, well, that wasn't on our first sip of line, we touched a bit on Kevin Gates, and I'm I'm gonna tell you exactly what he said when he said uh, it was a clip that was viral he was saying and i'm saying it verbatim when he was on stage like word for word dick all in your stomach dick all in your stomach grab your head snap your neck and you better not do no running and we was like this movement. what like oh if that was going on um y'all not gonna keep that to yourself you know but we talked about that i'm not gonna go into that but this ties perfectly into the topic I saw when Anita said it. Are women expected to do more sexually? And my thoughts on that, I feel like we are. We I are. feel like we are. I feel like we're supposed to shut up. They lazy in the yeah. So I feel like they we're supposed to show up, fit, fine, flexible. You could take it, everything. Bend, bend your knees, get on your knees, spread your legs, take from the back, all well, that. You know, yeah, and this is on anybody, anybody that's easily shocked. And I'm not tipsy. The, the transparency is about to be real, real, because I can't water it down no other way. I have to say it exactly how I say it. So if you were easily offended, you can X the stage left now because it's it's uh this is un now we're going past sticks and sipping live uncut raw you know but well, we really you know, uncut <laughs> yeah but really all jokes aside for this specific topic it is spicy because I think about even when we talked about the Kevin Gates and him saying you know dick all in your stomach I'm like okay so then you over doing all but time out. Even the movements he did on stage, you were killing everything. Like, why would you want to hurt me like that? But then again, we're not going back to that topic. But sexually, I feel like a woman is, is it is expected for her to perform, whether it's orally, flexibly, the flexibility, not flexibly, flexibility, or coming in, the way she dresses, the way she smells, her makeup, her hair, being fit. You need to know what a man likes and you need to be ready to handle all of it. And you need to be able to be thinking about if I'm not doing that, you know, am I open to it? It's just a lot of stuff there. I don't feel like men shoulder that kind of weight. They I don't. think the only weight a man shoulders is size. That's what you hear all your life is about size. If she sees it and it's not what she thought it was going to be size wise. Other than that, you don't got to take it from the back, spread your legs, archie, bend over, open up your mouth, you know, none of that. You know, you're not expected to do any of it. You can come in, stomach hanging to your knees. You don't have to be aesthetically pleasing. Requirements for a man. There I see plenty of this. Men got a list for women, and they ain't got a list. No, for I saw something a couple. Of, I saw something a couple I of weeks. Have a thumb bear. I I saw something a couple of weeks ago where it was saying that um a, a man doesn't have to. But women don't look at a man physically. He doesn't have to physically be pleasing to the eye. She loves that he cares for her and he nurtures her and he provides for her. Well, I'm an exception to the rule. I like a fine fit man. I want I want the rips on his back and his stomach. I want something when he, just like they want for us. You want to be attracted to something. I don't want to see the keg belly. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, you, your back is hurt. I got to do all the work. I'm not doing all that. And I feel like it's really not required. Even if we jump to what is readily available to every uh, cell phone user, a kid can go, go on any type of porn site right now. That's a whole nother topic. They are even showing there. 
it is expected for women to be a certain way physically and be able to perform sexually you know it's like i saw something it's like oh she don't you know your girl or even comedians oral sex they laugh about it you know you joke about your girl you know she needs to go down or she needs to go down and it's like what if you know i don't feel like men feel that pressure they don't feel the pressure of is she gonna when i take my shirt off am i, am I gonna be looking good to her you know, not just the size. Does your body look good? Is your ass in shape, or is it looking like an upside down triangle? Like these are things I'm I'm looking at on a man. You know, what what are you uh, what are you aesthetically coming to the table with? Not a goddamn. What are you willing to do? Because women, I know even for me, you know, I got my extra postpartum weight on me, and I be feeling the weight sometimes. I be trying to hide my little. Fupa and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I be well, both way. I don't. You know what I'm saying? But men, they come in. They got fupas and shit too. They don't care. Well, here's they got the, here's the difference. Pump, pump. Here's the difference. You got yours from having a baby. Where did his come from? Yeah. I didn't know. You got some explaining to do. I mean, you didn't have no baby. You was never pregnant. The percentage of water weight and body fat is higher on a woman. No, 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 no. They never. You, but that never you, cases them. They're never um, what? conscious in that area. They just be like, "Shit, I'm just about to get up in here and I'm about to rip it up, rip it up." But and a I'm woman like, can't do that. A woman can show up pleasingly plump. She can't show up pleasingly plump. I'm not trying to call them out. That's one of your rappers. Rick Ross at Forever State taking that shirt off and he needs to keep it on. I don't want to see the body. He needs to keep it on. Because I feel like he might be. I don't want to see the body. And I don't even like him because he's big, though. You know what I'm saying? We can share a bra. Me and Rick Ross probably. Suck that fat out of his poopa. Listen, but guess what? He doesn't feel that pressure. That's Rick so Ross, oh, he he over here ripping up. Rick Ross, I watched him on. I don't know if it was a GQ Health, but they they did a walkthrough and they showed his refrigerator and all that. The only one that was like fit fit fit. Well, it was a couple of Omarion was nice and Tank's body was was nice. They really stuck to a regimen and they did that. Rick Ross said he had workout equipment and said. They're like, are you do pull ups? He's like, I'm a fat boy. I don't do pull ups. He didn't even blink when he said that. Rick Ross takes that shirt off, and DJ Khaled's ass does too. And they need to stop that shit because if it was a woman doing that, you they can't. would not do it. They would they would not allow it. They would be talking about it. And oh, what? I, 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 I still be talking about Lizzo. Listen. I, I'm going to say this. I keep it fair across the board because somebody like it. All I'm saying is sexually and physically attractive, it's not a big weight for men to shoulder. Rick Ross feels and gives no fucks about taking his shirt off when he is hooked. Oh, 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 Wounds and all. Wounds and all. DJ Khaled has showed up to the party with no shirt on repeatedly. And it's like, what are we doing here? He Why is this so such a party repeatedly with no shirt off more than Rick Ross ass? But I want to know, again, not why. I just know that more women would be body shamed and it would not be considered sexually appealing. But for some reason with them, they feel fully confident in showing us all that shit, and it doesn't it doesn't do it for me. It doesn't. It really doesn't. And I just feel like it so, just been more put pressure put on them. No, not for them. Not for them. They don't get you said they don't get the pressure the that women. They don't get the pressure that Lizzo would get. But here's my thing with Lizzo. I'm I'm be super transparent. If you show up to the basketball game with your ass out, you're with the cover for your ass, understand and know as a woman in this society, somebody might not like it. And they and and everybody got a soapbox in social media, they're gonna make sure they let you know. Just and don't be mad about it. Because that's like you whip out your breast and somebody starts talking about the shape and color of your nipples. You put it out there for them to talk about. But the difference is, based on this topic, 
Rick Ross show his nipples all the time. Like he done breastfed and everything. And don't nobody say nothing about it. We just uh, all the time. Um, it, it's just huh, him and, and DJ Khaled. All the time. And, and I think other men, I'm not saying that all men don't. Yeah, I think some men, you know, you know, seek or strive to stay physically fit, which is good. But I see more women with te the teddy bear, the teddy bear men, than I've seen men with the, the teddy. We don't even have, we don't even see men with teddy bear women. What, 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 what the, man have you heard? The teddy what bear men are ugly and more than likely have somewhat some like self-esteem issues and stuff like that. Some of them do and some of them don't because I done came across some teddy bear, teddy bear men that were arrogant as fuck. No, but but L, they can be. They can be because they don't show them that way. That's what I'm talking about. They feel like they're fine. Fit is not even a thing and they're going to take their shirt off and, and, and feel like they're about to give you that work in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. But when you come in there sexually, I believe you better be together. You know, I think Drake said a line. He said, she got, how does she say it? She got uh, her, she got her, she's worried about her, he said her breasts were done. He said her titties done and I'm worried about if it's going to feel good. It's a line. He was saying he wanted to hit and she had just got her breasts done. She was worried about if they look good. He was worried about if he's gonna feel good. The yeah. whole thing there that you know she showed up to the party to give up, give up some draws, and her breasts just got done. Like what? And, That's Mil and Milan just said, I think women that are confident in their bodies, regardless of or size, are a threat to the men that get ahead by putting other women down under wraps. And I agree. I was just about to say that. I was just about to say, no matter a woman's size, if you carry that certain arrogance, if you have that certain je ne sais quoi, that's going to attract a man no matter what. But a lot of women don't carry that. We're always still in our head. When you walk around all that, I don't give a fuck. I'm a bad bitch. And attitude, and you actually believe that shit? Can't no man, I don't care what he look like, tell you you ain't the shit. He ain't going to do nothing but bow down to you and be like, how can I get to know you? It's all in the energy you bring with it, too. You know what I'm well, saying? I think that that, I I think like, bitch, I'm a bad bitch, but are you really? Well, I think that it's harder to hold that type of you say Jen say qua, or I say just that, you know what I'm saying, that standard, or feeling like that as a woman, when society is shoving down your throat the definition of beauty. When you look on Instagram, th this is what you're seeing constantly, like, 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 like. When you drive down the street and you see these big billboards of the depiction of beauty, and then you can go and get it immediately with plastic surgery. I saw some football players it was it blew my mind there was a he played on the philadelphia eagles i know if lou is in here he knows what i'm talking about this dude said he didn't like nothing fake right he's real that's what he said i'm real and i don't like nothing fake but he said he likes he'll make sure his woman is put together he'll deal with that being fake she he wanted her to get it right get her breath done her butt down like she need to be top notch and she needs to go get that work at the plastic surgeon so that she looks good when she's with him and that to me was like are you what the fuck? i was like this is ridiculous it's ridiculous <laughs> but because of the mentality then another one said i knew who this was what's the dude's name you guys uh the one that was with um oh my gosh it was evelyn lozado Oh, her, the, the baseball player? The football player. Her oh, ex, Chad Chad Ocho, Cinco. Ocho Cinco said that when he went on a date with a girl, he takes her out and has her run and do things that shows her athleticism because he knows if he mates with her that the kids they have will be athletic. 
So I was like, are you accepting a slave master mentality? Are you trying to like do some super breeding? What the fuck? What is this? So that threw me too. Like, are you retarded? I just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. But in that still, it goes back to the weight that you shoulder as a woman, physically, sexually, all these things that you're supposed to be ready to do to satisfy the man, the look that you should have to entice a man. It doesn't focus on any of the intangibles. Segwaying back to our first one, like, you know, not even about the cooking. If she fall, if he falls off, can she hold you down? Yeah. You have to talk about can she run a four five flat? I'm probably messing up the the numbers, but what the hell? You want to know how fast she can run? If she gave you twelve kids, if she ain't shit and she ain't doing nothing with her life, and you leave her, now you got to take care of them kids and her, and you're gonna be complaining about it because all she did was run a four four flat, or she was fast, she was quick, and I knew we can have some track babies. Like that's just retarded. Matter of fact, you don't even know what you're getting when they go get that plastic surgery because whatever you're seeing is not what the original look like. So whatever y'all have, you might have a fat baby that can't run, but because she showed up with a snatch waist and a big butt and thick thighs, you thought you was getting an athlete. And she might tell you she had a but she wasn't Exactly. It's just like, where is the truth of you? Where do you get to this? There's not any of us. If you not feel like me, don't put me in the room. As I said last week with Kevin Gates, I don't think you put me in the room. Bend over. Let me put you in the room. If I'm going to do you, I'm going to do you. I'm going to do you. I'm going to do you. Let me see 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 you. Arch your back. He'll, 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 he'll start talking about this. Is the world, this is the world, but that's what you want me to do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this. Let's go. You know? Don't do it. If I can take it, you're going to give me this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like don't do don't the sexual expectation on a woman that you wouldn't be doing with her. Exactly, exactly. Like they might not be good. You hear men talking about something that was not like that. What did she strike her to do with the blood when we got the whole thing? You have to talk about the fact that 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 you have to talk I hear it. Oh, I do. But I, I think at the end of the day, if you're not going to show someone like do some spray, all that, don't do all If you don't want to go and talk to someone, that she was like, I want to do that. That's what I'm you know yep but I <laughs> we was lit tonight and y'all, I you. just wrote in the comments y'all have questions ask them now but yeah. I'm over here I only got some more collar bread happy Rosh Hashanah Shana Soba to my Jews <laughs> I'm going to go out and see if I can see if it's Okay. 
if y'all have questions, ask for a fire. The <laughs> there ain't no tech guy yet, Yako. But next year there will be. Do you see the third box? It's still doing. No, you sound better now. Really? Mm hmm. Will you go ahead? Yep, I can hear you now. I'm saying, will you? I'm ranting. I'm gonna hear your input. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me read what Annette is saying. She said men are attracted to women who have brains and can vibe with them. The nature of most men is to be successful and not looking arm candy. Only after they have become successful will they look for. <clears throat> I agree, though, on the whole topic at whole. Like, you can't expect so much sexually from a woman when all you come in and do is your five pumps and then you good. <clears throat> like, I'm sorry. I don't care if you got 30 minutes worth of pumps. A woman still got to bend over, blood rushing to her head because she bent over, have you fucking damn near choking her out and stuff. Like, I'm just sorry. Her giving you head and she got to deal with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I can't... If you're eating me out, I can't do that to you because ain't no stick. Like, you trying to make a bitch gag and choke. Like, <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Like, it, we got to find some balance. Okay? Well, you, okay? We, as women, already got a lot on our shoulders. We don't need extra on our shoulders sexually. Can we just find some balance to where we both feel like, damn, I'm feeling good when I, I don't want to be like this. <laughs> you know, I can't even get my leg over my, I used to could get my leg over my head about three years ago. I came down. Blame Harlow. Blame Harlow. <laughs> but I'm saying though, it's like, don't expect so much of me when all you doing is coming from behind and hitting it. Because that's all y'all doing. Y'all just coming from behind, hitting it, or hopping on missionary. You hop on missionary first, and then you go behind hitting it, because that's where you're going to get off the best. But you want me to hop on missionary, to be from behind, to get on my knees, and boom, boom, boom. You want me to, <laughs> like I'm in the ballroom and shit like that. <laughs> Let's talk, like you want me to do all this like I'm in Cirque du Soleil and I ain't even trained for that shit if you want me to do all that can you at least give me low yoga classes can you get me on the um what's that yoga what's that yoga class aerial yoga can you give me aerial yoga classes so she's so worth it well, said that. that's why props get paid so <laughs> that's why pros get paid so <laughs> Yeah, because at the end of the day, if you wanted me to do all that, then I'm going to take my shirt to Pornhub so I can get that coin. I need that coin because if you wanted me to do all this and I'm about to be back all out in the morning, can't barely get to work, good thing I got a sitting job. Um, nigga, like, for real, for real, I'm going to just get on Pornhub so at least I can recoup the energy I put out so at least I can pay for a motherfucking choir practice. <laughs> <laughs> and that's facts, and you know it. <laughs> oh my God. I did not know this guy was going to turn into this. <laughs> but that's what you get with sipping life. It's spicy. It's spicy. You don't know what we. You don't. We don't even know what we talk about on the uh, each night, y'all. We just pull it from the jar. We just pull it from our jars. We don't even know what the hell we talk about each night. So it is what it is. <laughs> well, I, I think when you listen to that, that's why I'm supposed to be paid for. Yeah, we'll go back to the questions. Let me type this. 
I got to find out why my questions button stopped working all of a sudden. Y'all got questions? Oh, wait, we got a question. Let's see. How do you keep it spicy in a relationship? First of all, you got to know what you like and you got to know what he likes, first off. Last question. Um, Arkansas Barbie. Oh, okay. You got to know what each other likes. You can't just be going in blindfolded and just doing... He might not want you putting your legs behind your head and you out here doing the extra work. He just might want you to be flabbing your stomach so he can get it off and kiss, and kiss you. Know what he likes. Know what he wants. Find out what he likes. Find out what he wants. Do your research. Find out what spices up your relationships. You know what I'm saying? Um. But yeah, like, I think you kind of got to know what a man likes and doesn't like and vice versa <clears throat> before you can really know how to keep it spicy. Because every man ain't going to like the spicy brain. Shoot. Every man might not like that. So don't be getting on your knees if you ain't got to. Why get the knees bruised? I'm just saying. You ain't got to. <laughs> Bear, you got something to say? <laughs> Hold on, you're breaking up. It was this. I don't know why. I don't know. Okay, hold on. I got another one. <clears throat> is it wrong to use the rose if he don't take you there, or is it rude? Oh, is that the sex toy? Yes. I mean, are you using it while he's right there in the bed next to you, or when he leave, are you using it? Because either way, if he don't get you off, use the rose. I don't use toys, <laughs> but if you got to get off because he didn't get you off, use the rose, leave him, and find the next no, I think it should be so. I'm gonna go out and tell you because I don't think it's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm eating my collard bread. Shana Tova to my Jews. Yeah, I said bruise these one another. This is such a great start to wash the Shana for me. Mm -hmm. Bear, where you at? <laughs> oh, there you go. Are you coming back in? <clears throat> Yay! <laughs> If he don't do his job, fire him. Hell yeah. Because just like a man needs to be um, sexually like fulfilled, so do women. <clears throat> Vera, why is it saying you're unable to join? What's going on? Let me, ex let me accept you again. Try to request me, Vera. It's not let it's saying you're unable to join. Okay. It was saying you're unable to join. I'm like, D Instagram, see? I don't know. This ain't even no conspiracy. Instagram with the shits. Can you still hear the echo? Mm hmm No. No, I don't. Okay. The, I can hear it. But if you're good. I'm good. I, I was trying to... When you said you the bottle, I think that is rude. I think it's rude because I think that sex is more than just the physical act. And if he's not giving you off and you, you know, like, you know, you don't, you're not feeling sexually satisfied after the fact, he needs to know. You can't, like, just go. I, that's my, that's my thought. I think that you need to either let him know that this is what I'm happy to do because, and can we figure out some other things that can do it? But do you feel like, she should say that to someone she may be thinking long term with or something she just like let's get off every now and then with well if you're just getting off with somebody every now and again i don't care what you do <laughs> let it find out some other way <laughs> no you're not gonna find out because that's not a relationship that's that's 
That's a booty call. Yeah. But I, I think that if this is someone that you're in relationship with and it's more than just sex, that's the conversation you need to have because you're looking for sustainability. You're looking yeah. at it. Why is she said, let's talk about R. Kelly being a girl. Wow. Oh, whoa. But, oh, here's some. Hold on. Here. <laughs> what are, this is from Yaku again. <laughs> she said, what are some other positions to explore? Not the basic ones. Ones that use props in the house. Ceiling fans. Not to put anyone out there, Yako, but you should probably be asking Lanita that question. Um, Yako, and you know why, and Lanita, you know why. But well, <laughs> I think that here's the thing too. I always had a problem with asking hey, sir, yeah, hey, you hear me? Yeah. I always had a problem with asking everybody else except the person. So you run to your girlfriends and run to the guys or whatever, but you're not communicating with the very person that you want to meet the sexual need. Like if it's not happening, then we need to let you know and then we can talk about why and how it could possibly be happening. Yeah. Because even if you want to try explore sexually in the bedroom, I do think that that's something you could, should talk to your partner about. Because it really depends. Because if you want to bring a swing, if you want to bring props, are they comfortable with props? Are they comfortable with swings? Like, what are they comfortable with? You might find that they're comfortable with some shit that you ain't comfortable with. And it boils down to the communication of it all. Um, Milan, says, I'm sorry. Milan says, is blue balls a thing? I think I just heard it's not real to an extent. No, I think it's, I think it's real. Maybe it's called something else to other people, but I definitely think it's real. Um, my understanding of blue balls is when a man gets aroused and the woman just leaves them hanging, so he got to figure out, am I going to play with my little um, thing, thing to ease my tension down? <laughs> Since she <laughs> and blue balls is not a thing, Lou, let us know. Lou, let's talk about it. Well, Lou, let's talk about it. <laughs> but we do get antsy. <laughs> she try to bring him in. Let me see. Let me see if I can bring him in again. Hold on. Please let this work. Like, goddamn. Because I'm getting echo feedback. Probably. I'm about to. I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to email Instagram tonight and be like, "What the fuck?" Sorry, guys. She said we got a form of blue cat. We able to bring him in? I tried to put him in. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna go out. Okay. Let's see if that'll work. Hold on. I'm gonna remove you. Let me see if I can add. <clears throat> Jay, they don't want us to win. They want they don't want us to bring you in. I follow you, you follow me. This should work. You're here. Where are you? It's not showing you. This is how you know Instagram got too much. It says J. Lou is unable to join live. Like why? This is what I'm saying. This is why we we about to take our shit off Instagram in a minute if they keep acting up like this. Oh yeah, if you can do what Jay did, yeah, if you're in the if you're there, yeah, let's do that. And I'll just accept um bear back. Hold on, let me see.
Instagram. Oh, they about to get a whole email from me. I'm putting the email in right now. Okay. So I'm loving that coffee machine. Is that coffee machine? Yeah, it is. Y'all so, see, I got a whole coffee. It's not like on I got a whole coffee, everything. Two coffee grinders, um, fridge press, a pour, a espresso machine, everything. Was it, did it allow you to let J. Lou in? It wouldn't allow me, which I don't know. Me and J. Lou been following each other. I don't know. So what I'm going to do during the week is I'm just going to have to go live and try to add him just on the random. Just like get with y'all and see if I could just add him on the random to see. But I don't know what is Instagram's deal right now. Well, the last thing I said, the last thing I said that we can take, we can wrap it up is I think I thought that because I know somebody said out of here. I think that if it's a it is feedback still. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. I think that if it's like, you know, it's just about sex, I wouldn't get all into it. Yeah. But if it, if it is a relationship, and you want to do communication to be about, you know, certain means like you and finding out how you can kind of, you know, meet the middle of it. Hopefully, you know, there is some satisfaction that happens, but it's going to be some work. Every, everything is not going to be perfect in any relationship. You have to do some work somewhere. Yeah. And you might yeah. be able to teach your man if he ain't giving you all the way what you want sexually. If he's giving you a little bit of something, then teach him how to give you all the way what you need. Communicate that to him so he knows. Versus, and he needs to communicate that to you. Yeah. Commun communication in the bedroom, communication in the relationship, communication saves lives. Well, you can wrap it up because I'm getting, I got a status. So you can wrap it up. Okay, guys. So, oh, look at Harlow just got back, guys. Come, hi, Harlow. So, look, if y'all got topics y'all want us to discuss, hey, girl, come here, mommy's girl. If y'all got topics you want us to discuss, email us at watchsippinglive at gmail.com. DM us on Instagram at watchsippinglive. We put our full episodes on YouTube. Find us at watchsippinglive. We have our recaps on TikTok now. We just created that at watch sipping live and just find us there engage with us even though we have our conversation here with all of you guys if you go back and watch it and you want to just engage further let's get engage further so we can just engage with y'all like i said if you got topics you want to discuss let us know because me and bear have created a list of topics that we want to talk about but we also want to talk about what y'all want to talk about and we are definitely going to find a way so we can start bringing y'all in to give your little input and we can like really like bring this conversation to the forefront and we appreciate y'all for your support this is our third sip of life in september mm -hmm. so we'll see y'all back in october and we really appreciate the support the consistent support um we appreciate it and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that we be sipping and the big goblets uh, we got a lot going on coming with y'all for 2023 so look forward to that so keep chiming in with us we just want to bring y'all transparent conversation that is real and relatable. I know all y'all can re relate to our topics, you know. Um, so we appreciate your support. And we're, we're here having fun and enjoying it because this is what me and Barry do a few times a week for four, five, six hours on the phone. We just brought it to y'all, you know. So just keep tuning in support us share the links um tell everyone we're appreciating the tra hi come here big girl we're appreciating the traction Her harlow wasn't here let me let harlow get her shy because she wasn't here for the majority of our live but y'all know harlow's our resident um mascot 
Say hi. Harlow's our resident mascot. My little one, she just turned a year and a half. And she my girl. She my girl. Y'all know. But we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And we thank you for the continued support and the continued traction you guys have been giving us. And we really appreciate it. So we want to keep it going um, forward. Again, we are here every single Sunday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we don't take no days off. It's in our schedule so join us every Sunday. Um, even if you can't make it in the beginning, just make it in the middle or the end, and we appreciate it. So until then, we'll see y'all in October. All right. No, we got one more. The third. Oh, we got one more in um September. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang! I thought we already did the three. Well, we'll see y'all. We look, we'll see y'all the last one. Sunday of September, and then we uh October. <laughs> And I'm trying not to because it's so I don't know if it's still echoing in my head. Yeah. But if you miss this live, check it out on the YouTube channel. Yes, YouTube. And we look forward to seeing you guys next Sunday. Thanks yep. for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>